This is session two of Storm King's Thunder. In session one, the players were heading to Nightstone, and they were going there to deal with goblin problems. They were, um, well, technically, I guess you guys are recruited by, is it the Order of the Gauntlet? Mm-hmm. So you were recruited by the Order of the Gauntlet, and Brian's character and Josh's character would be Carmen and Jacquard. You're both part of the Gauntlet. Arthur is along for the ride with Jacquard. You guys have known each other since childhood. And Theodore is a ranger. He's been in charge of guiding the way there. Um, and Theodore, you're kind of in charge of helping with the goblin threat. Like, that's why you're going, is to find them eventually and uh, eradicate them. But what happened instead is you were ambushed on the road by a bunch of goblins on the way to Nightstone. Handily defeated them, but they did not um, lose the battle for nothing. They got away with two of your horses. Then they moved on. You killed three goblins. The rest escaped. You got to Nightstone and found that... Something bad had already happened. When you got close, you could hear the bells ringing, the alarm was set, and you had to go in and see what's going on. And what you found is that the goblins were already here. But you found something else as well. Yes, that worked, Josh. Sweet. I'm just trying to figure out how to roll that saving throws. Yeah, you can whisper your rolls to me if you want. Cool. I don't know how you do it. Do you type slash W? Uh, so you slash you type slash GM roll space one d twenty. Okay. You also saw so. that in Nightstone the city had been bombarded with large boulders, and upon further investigation and after you eradicated the goblins, you talked to a couple of the survivors in the city. One was Kella, and one was the priest, which I don't think anyone got his name. I, I could like just Kel give you the name. I know she's a wanty. Snake loving bitch. Hate her so much. The I priest's know. name the priest. is Hyral. H I R A L. Captain hides in the tower. Yeah. But yeah, upon further investigation, you had found that these boulders in the city were dropped by giants. And not just um any giant assault. It was an assault from the sky. A city in we the clouds rode over the city, rode over Nightstone, and they dropped boulders onto it. And then stole the one rock in the city that mattered. We need beans, man. We need some magic beans, Jack. What's the deal? You had a line so on that shit? Did... I'm trying to um, put together. Did we hear... Did they drop rocks all over the city to make everyone evacuate? Yeah. So... I mean, you're and not really sure, but what they did say it. is once the villagers did evacuate the city, then so they came they... down and grabbed the Nightstone, the centerpiece of the city, a large 10-foot obsidian rock um, rumored to have some magical properties in, um, in the uh, surface, but no one was able to ascertain why or what it was for. It was just the centerpiece of the town, and the, the little village was built around it. It's like the Blarney Stone or some shit. Mm -hmm. Except stone. you don't have to kiss. Do you think they kiss it for good luck? Maybe. I mean, maybe that's it's not a now. microphone, Matt. It's not a microphone. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We don't have the same kind of microphone in my house. So. <laughs> you, I think you in total killed about... Nine or ten goblins, one warg. I killed three on my own. What's up? God, I killed a couple. Plus the other few goblins you killed at the ambush. So, yeah, you guys killed quite a few goblins in session one. You saw that the bridge to the keep had been smashed in by a boulder, and Jakad's ingenuity was able to take some of the ladders from the towers and Theodore helped him with some um, some of the palisade wall that had been crushed or cracked and used those to 
bridge the gap. And you are all headed to the keep. And I can pull that up. I'll pull you guys the map as well. Pull that up for you. Ta -da. Hey, you repaired the bridge. I repaired it's the more bridge. More officially than I did. We repaired the bridge, but yeah. Yeah, but Ryan made it look nice. Right. More so than my scribble. <laughs> Your brown log that was laid across <laughs> it. So yeah, nice. you four are headed to the keep here. And um, technically combat's done. This? this is just for fun, having a Let's map. See. So that we left the other... We left guard back there. To loot and... the town without us. Yeah, he was looting. Pyro. Jerk faced. And Kella. And those are the only three people that are in here with us that we know of so far. Was it? That was the only three. But guard came Kayla, from your Kyle own. Uh, yeah. And then caravan. we have Herschel and those guys still outside the city. Yeah, they have probably, not entered the city. Probably dying slowly <clears throat> at the hands of chicken ooze or some chickens. Chicken ooze. <laughs> chicken ooze. It sounds like real bad. Mm -hmm. That's what you get when you don't uh, embrace rolling for stats. You get. Chicken news. Chicken news. Uh. <laughs> Fake news. Fake news. Chicken news. All right. So we are coming on to the the keep. Yeah. All right. Let's get started. You four are headed into the keep. The door is closed. You see the stairs going up, and it's a large set of double doors. Uh, is that the marching order you want to go in? Can I come around over here and check out where there's no wall? Yeah, you can definitely check out where there's no wall. Can we wall. split the party? Yeah, you can definitely split the party. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to do that. Hmm. I mean, I'm just going to go peek in. Okay. What do you think, Arthur? Hmm. And I'll just slowly walk in. And I'm going to take another look at these rocks. I'm just curious about them. I'm really? curious about, about the rocks. this. Is that a way in? That's the yes, door. door. The main door to the keep. I mean, it's closed. We can we can get it over here. I jiggle the handle. <laughs> uh, it's unlocked. Yeah. Oh. All right. I guess I come around. <laughs> Carmen, when you went over to the rubble, you have to uh, walk over some of the uh, bigger chunks of debris. It definitely got smashed in, not by one, but more than one boulder that had rolled out of the way. And it seems to be the remnants of a kitchen, hmm. or what's left of it. It smashed in a couple of the stoves. Um, one of the fireplaces is completely disheveled. Hmm. You can go through it if you want, or you can join back up with the group. I'll just stay with the group. Okay. And I'm guessing that's your marching order, so... Yeah. If anyone goes around, we should send the scout. That's why he's here. Okay. But I recommend we just stick together and go through the <clears> door. <throat> sure. Uh, as I'm looking at this, this rock... Mm -hmm. uh, do you think I can tell what type of rock it is? What kind of rock? What do you mean? It's a stone Igneous boulder. versus... <laughs> <laughs> kind of a quartz. Right. Like its origin? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a granite boulder. Okay. Granite's pretty common throughout the lands. When you oh, open the dang. door in the Great Hall, you see four guards... They're sitting around a large oak table. There's a body that's laying on the table. Holy There's shit. some blood on the body and some blood on one of the guard's hands. Mm. And it seems like they're arguing. I don't really... Um, no, that's not a good idea. We should wait until we have backup. And then you hear someone else. Eyes up front, men. And woman, someone says. And woman. And they look your way. And they all have their weapons um, 
unhooked and half drawn when you walk in. I have um, my flail put away. Okay. Yeah, I, I probably have my hammer up, but my shield in my arm. Because it's better to always have your shield equipped, evidently. Yep. Just leave that shit on. Yep. I sleep with my shield on my arm. I how to use chopsticks with a shield on my arm. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Who, who, who are you? Your backup has arrived. We were from the order. The, the order? Aye, of the gauntlet. Oh, oh my God. Um, we hadn't even called for backup yet. We don't, we don't even have a way to communicate with the outside right now. Um, if we had to wait for us to be called, we would never get anywhere. And I, what? Um, <laughs> who's hurt? Yeah. Who's hide? Are they still alive? The woman, you can see her hair spilling down her shoulders from her helmet. She takes off her helmet. It's her hair's kind of matted to her head. No, she's she's not alive anymore. Ah, more is the pity. This was Lady Vorosa, yeah. I cannot bring her back. Um, we finally were able to unbury her body from all the rubble. She died in the attack. Did, did the gauntlet send you because of the attack? Nay, we were traveling through. And you just <laughs> happened to be here. That's That's good, that's good. Yeah, just happened to be here three days late. Um, I walk into the room. Uh, granted, granted, it's the stone. Granted? Yeah, granted. granted. I lied. Anybody can see that. Yeah, uh, we're dealing with the loss of Lady Velros. Mayhap I can say some words for her. Um, and then she kind of, you see a tear roll down her cheek. One of the other guards. It's all right. Yeah, that would be good to maybe say some some words for her. We, we're not really sure what to do now that the town has no lord or lady. Um, Who's in command here? None of us. Our commander, he was in the rank? town. We're all the same rank. Um, who, who answered me when I said that? This is <laughs> the second guy that talked. You did not Same. get their names. So the one who says eyes that said eyes up. Yeah. I pointed at him and I say, I commission you field lieutenant. Um me? We're gonna need your help organizing the men. Oh um Sure. What's your there, name? This 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 is all of us. There is no one else. My name's Torum. Torum. This is Kalen. That's Sadiri. And Alara. Torum, Kalen, Sadiri, and Alara. Correct. While they're talking, I'm going to just keep an eye out for the bridge to see if the, like a knoll or something comes running across it. A knoll? <laughs> yeah, for those wayward knolls. <laughs> yep. I need your update over the last three days. Well, what, what happened here? Mm. Why is Lady Vilrosa apparently the only person who was killed in these falling boulder attacks? Who ordered the evacuation of the town? Where is everyone gone? I don't know if anyone ordered the evacuation. The The people just panicked. There were a few guards stationed in the village as well. They left with the villagers. Um, there were a few that died in the initial attack. We saw the boulders. Well, at least one. I saw it smash into someone. Ah, and... humans. I shake my head. What? <laughs> Nothing. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Lady Vorosa. There's some of her staff that died in the attack. There. 
in the rubble too. We haven't gotten everyone out. No one's alive. Not that we know of. There are two other survivors that we have found in the town so far. Well, once the, the bridge Tyron went out, we got Lady Kella. So far, we have not found any. Well, we know the priest. Um, I'm glad that he's still here. He, he also does not have any abilities to heal or bring back the dead. I can heal. I just can't bring her back. Well, there is a graveyard mm. that we can. How'd you get up here? You didn't we hear us repairing the bridge? Took over an hour. No, we. I'm already questioning your position in this field. I slap Jack and just shake my head. I give him an ugly look. <laughs> like, stop, dude. <laughs> you can be better. Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, we, what should we do? No, I I would recommend consolidating everyone in the town at least, getting the priest and Kello over here, and you know mourn your dead. And you can either rebuild, or you can come out with us. to wherever it is we go next. Mm -hmm. I, for one, am curious as to where the rest of town was. Well, they fled north. We saw that. They they probably went to the caves up there, the dripping caves. Um, the dripping caves? The dripping caves. Oh. We've we've used it once or twice. Um, there's some supplies that are up there. Hmm. We used to have some skirmishes here and there with the elves of the Ardeep Forest. And they actually attacked the village a long time ago, which Lady Velrosa put a stop to that after the Lord died in that attack. And they used the caves at that point once. Well, if I was you, I'd send someone to go to the caves Whoa. and rebuild. You all right over there? Yeah. What was that sound? Sounds like someone. Oh, the sound of marble. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's me uh, pulling the blinds up in the room that I'm sequestered in, so that I can see <laughs> outside. <clears throat> Good timing. Yeah. <laughs> Always do that during your dialogue. Sorry, I was just like. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about it. I don't even know what you said. We'll go again. Uh oh, if I was you, I'd go and get them from the caves and bring them back. Uh, we have to be one. We cleared out the goblins. I don't. We have a caravan to watch. We were trying to get them here. There's no here to get to, Jack. It's over. Whatever this, business the merchant had in coming. town. Whatever business. We, we have no further business. Well. Our merchant friend must probably like to get his goods off someplace else. Oh, I mean, there's nobody here. We could go up to the caves and get all the people to come back to their town, and they could buy merchant friend. All right. I guess we could do that, too. Which reminds me, we should probably go get them. Leaving them out there. I enough to make me check over my shoulder where'd you come from Daggerford yeah I Daggerford <clears throat> alright maybe the guy you put in charge which is Torum let's let's take her body to the graves um, we can bury her by her husband I'll the... do a quick service for him mm hmm the lady kind of shakes her head up or nods her head. All right. Jack fall in line with the rest to help carry her. All right. So you four, um, or however many, I don't know. What are you doing, Arthur? I've just been roaming around the room, listening to the conversation. Okay. Looking at everything. So this is the Great Hall. 
They put her body on one of the large oaken um, dining tables. This is where they would serve all their guests. Most of the room has been smashed by the attack. And, uh, yeah, you all grab her body and move her to the graveyard. It's the graveyard back out in the... Yeah, it's just north of the uh, church. The oh, chapel. yeah, back over there. Yep. That's good. Let's get him. Doo -doo -doo. And you yeah, do. We can all back over that way. Good. We can talk to Hiram. And I suppose Kella, too. You get up to the chapel. And, uh, yeah, Hiram is there. Oh, my God. Our lady. Um, is she dead? I. Oh, my God. Oh, no. We don't bring many over to the graveyard. Um, I. He looks at um, Jacquard and Arthur specifically. I don't. I don't know what her deal is, but something's going on with that lady. I don't like it. Who well, there's something wrong with her. I saw her rummaging through the the charred remains of the Nightstone Inn. She was, I don't know, scavenging or... I didn't want to go say anything. All right, I'll go over there. Or, what? Oh, Kella or whatever? Kella. Kella. I think that's her name. I'll quietly follow <clears throat> Carmen. Uh, do we have the rest over here? Doing yeah. The funeral and whatnot? Uh, they're digging the grave. They're getting everything ready. It'll take time. Okay. Yeah, we should, have, we should have everyone in town here. Let's go retrieve Kella and Guard. And pro actually, we should send Guard back to get the rest of the caravan. You look I, for him, and he is already gone. Like, you don't look very hard, but yeah, he's not there anymore. That opportunistic fuck. Or he already had our same idea and went back to get the caravan. Yeah. I he's doubt it. He's a scummy son of a bitch. So, if you... Give me a perception check, everyone. Mm -hmm. Boop. Oh, that's horrible. I rolled a five, evidently. My wow, there you go, guys. Way to do it. Here? So Theodore and Arthur carry the weight on this one. Mm -hmm. You see Kella walking back from the remains of the Nightstone Inn. And she's heading back to the stables where you had first found her, Carmen. Hey, you. She turns and looks away and then keeps going towards the stables. Hey, I'm talking to you. She does not respond. She actually, um, you are a little bit away, so you're kind of shouting at her. She walks into the stables. I, that bitch, she's something wrong with her. I, I don't I, I don't imagine. I don't trust her I don't like her the priest says Is she not someone you know previously no <clears throat> I didn't know her she's not from here you know someone opened the gate well the villagers opened the gate one of the guards says <laughs> yeah oh to flee All right that no one needed to open the gate to drop sky rocks no for the goblins I'm guessing that when everyone left, they had no reason to close the gate behind them. No, no one closed the gate. Um, this is still that same guard, which is... I shake my head. Torum. Torum. <clears throat> I don't they didn't know. close the gate. Maybe we can finish this up. We got a few more things to clean up, and then are you are you gonna go to the caves? 
Um, I look at Jack. I'm like, hmm. I propose that we do. Let's get our caravan here. We can c call that complete. And then... Can help sate our own curiosity by ensuring that the rest here are safe. let them know that they can return to their town. Hi, we'd be going to the caves. Um, okay, we can tell you kind of where it's at, we could drop a little bit of a map. I haven't been there myself, but I know where it's at. I'll pay attention when they pull out the map. They have to draw. Kind of my job. Yeah. So I think that, that uh, strange she bitch over there is leaving. She went to the stables probably to get a ride. Well, they there's no more horses here. When when the goblins first came in, they took all the horses. This is the uh, the priest here all talking, and yeah, they. Took most of the farm animals. There's some that are running around still. But Okay. They, they so I'm curious everything. then. I'll come poke my head in the stables and see what God's name is she doing? What Morden's name? True. Alright, you poke your head into the stables. She's hmm. sitting on the bed and you see the snake kind of coiled around her neck twice. Bed in Ugh. the stables? Yeah. In the uh building of the stables. The quarter, just oh. like that. Not in the actual stables. Gotcha. What? Lady what, Keller, what? do you owe any allegiance to Lady Valrosa? No. Do you? None in particular. Give me a perception check. Everyone? Did you Sorry. go to the stables? Yeah. Then yes. Four people are now peeking My their head inside. God, I can't roll anything good. Dude, seriously. I rolled a two. I have a plus five. What the? F <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. We see no things. Yep. We're like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> the snake again slithers back days. into her uh, cloak. Oh, it's disgusting. What the fuck's wrong with you? What's Where wrong with you? Uh, who are you? Disregard him. What? Fucking chat. Fuck you too. We are we are gathering in the cemetery. Lady Velrosa was killed in the attack. Well, like I said, I don't have any allegiance to her, so it's none of my business. We're holding the service. I'm just going to wait to get out of here. Wait for a ride. The door is open and you are welcome to it. Yeah, I'm not walking. How do you propose to get to the next place then? Well, someone will be here eventually with horses. I'll catch a ride. We are with a caravan. <laughs> Which I look at him. him. I, I give him the death look. <laughs> like, well, maybe I'll travel with them. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> what do you why are you all here do you travel together everywhere I say this is the first time we've tra traveled all together okay well it's a little bit creepy all all of you peeking your head into the stables um, I'm just gonna say that oh where did our guide go so I'll walk in into all the way into this the stables okay now you're in here so like oh it's creepy let me come in <laughs> <laughs> anyways i'm gonna get some rest thank you very much Kella, i'm sorry for your friends in I, well, he wasn't really my friend. I know Morak, but I was renting a room from him. So now I'm going to use this room, since you decided to burn it to the ground. Mm. <laughs> that was I you, right? Chuckle a little bit. Yes, that was uh, 
very big mistake and one that I don't plan on making again. Yes. Well, listen. anyways, have, you have a good day. You have suffered the same tragedy as everybody else in the town. They're all mourning over in the graveyard. It might be healthy for you to come and see Lady Velrosta off into the afterlife. Uh, no, thank you. Is that no. all? I, su I suppose not. Or I suppose it is. <laughs> She's just I shaking start, her head. <laughs> I just kind of like start right, yeah, backing up backwards. I'm out. Awkwardly <laughs> <laughs> through the door. Okay. And I'll shut it. Okay. When Bar you from the outside cast firebolt. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> when you're leaving the stables and you're looking more towards the Nightstone Inn, there is something a little bit odd from that area that you see, which um it's hard to tell from this distance, but something looks wrong with some of the remains, some of the uh charred nightstone in. Ooh, I'm going to go over there and investigate it then. Okay. As you get closer, you can see there's a large safe, which it stands about a foot high, a foot in diameter, or a foot uh, in each direction. It's a big square iron safe that has withstood the, f the burning of the fire. But that's not the odd thing. I mean, that's just a safe. The odd thing is that in a radius around the safe, about 10 feet, most of the um, fire did not affect that area. Ooh, I'm going to roll Arcana on that. Okay. Well, you, on the safe itself? Just the the aura. It looks like the fire did not affect it. You take a second. You're not sure why. Um, but, yeah, there's like a burnt remains of the wooden flooring that gets really close to the safe and then once it gets too close it um, has remained intact. Oh. That's sad. As you get closer you feel this kind of cool um, aura emanating mm. from this safe. Something very special must be in here. If you put your hand on it, it's cold to the touch. Very cold. Mm. Not quite frozen. Firebolt. For real? <laughs> no. Answer to all the things? No. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Firebolt oh, that shit. I can't talk. I'm not. Mm. Now you see Arthur picking through some of the um, remains of Nightstone and he's um, investigating. You can see him like. And at this point, most of the structural frame of the Nightstone Inn is fallen into itself. There's a few pieces here and there that are still intact on the back side of the inn. So most of it's just gone, though. The center True. beam's still up. Charred. The roof has collapsed on a lot of it. But the room he's in, the room, it's still kind of a room. It still has uh, the back walls are intact. Mm. Very curious. So I'm just going to, can I try to place my hand, like, just open the safe? <laughs> I'm that curious. <laughs> and trap in three, two. Actually, it looks like it has a... Um, 10 different like metal nodules which act as buttons and you probably have to punch them in a certain order to open it. Be very useful to have a thief right now. So if you like try to turn the handle which has four extensions off of it like spokes, mm -hmm. you crank on one of those and it doesn't budge at all. It looks like it's locked. Obviously, as a safe would be. Mm. 
And everyone else went back to the grave? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Over here. And where did you go, Theodore? I'm standing on the outside of the entrance to the grave area. Okay, so you're with everyone else. They dig the grave deep enough to place Lady Varosa. The priest um, wraps her. And uh, they lower her in. Hyrule, he says, she she was a good woman. She took care of the village. I, I've known her for about ten years since she and the Lord came here. And they really, they made this place unique. Everyone here loved them. It's a mournful day to see the lady pass I'm gonna miss her we all will I pray that her soul moves on in the afterlife and that she's with her gods that's a good prayer is it I'm I'm not very good at this Ah, the best ones are from the heart not from a book you did good Thank you. Especially for someone with no idea what the fuck he's doing. Thank you. <laughs> I kind of I step up and I open the prayer book and I say a little something from the book. You know, something short. Like, from dirt we came and to dirt we shall return. Think more than amen. <laughs> Very short. <laughs> yep. And the guards will start to shovel one mound of dirt after the other until she's fully buried. During this, you do hear the cart rattling its way into the village with Herschel and family and the other two guards. Perfect. They... I'll go up to meet him. Oh, so yeah. Big old Herschel. Biggest man you ever met. Whitest man you ever met. <laughs> Is it safe around here? Oh, I stick uh, my fingers so. in my ears. <laughs> Take out most of the goblins. All right, well, we're just going to get uh, set up, and then maybe we'll have dinner tonight. We're thinking about going to the Dripping Caves to uh, talk to the remaining villagers. Mm. They believe they fled there. Mm. Sounds like a good idea. We'll we'll start a meal and maybe we can have a well is the keep open. I'll get him up to speed on um, what happened here. Okay. Clouds, giant rock hail, smash, smash, smash. Yep, yep. Everyone left. After you catch them all up and you tell them about everything, he seems a little taken aback that. Um. Lady Velrosa is dead. Mm-hmm. He seems a little unnerved by that. But he ends up getting kind of things together. He seems like more of a leader than any of these guards. And mm-hmm. by the end of the hour, he has people helping him carry some things up to the keep, and they're going to prepare a meal for when the villagers get back. I'm going to see if uh, someone else can help me try to... Mm-hmm. Close this drawbridge if it's still functional. Yeah, you so could close the drawbridge. And you could do that by yourself if you want. Okay. It takes a little bit of um, oh, finagling, but once you find the correct mechanisms, the chain, you just can keep turning the wheel to close the drawbridge. It takes a long time. It takes about a minute. Okay. I'll work on that. I don't want any more goblins getting it. <laughs> and you close the drawbridge. Mm. But yeah, there's actually a bit more activity with the guards. The guards are um, very eager to help Herschel to have something to do. They're like, yay, someone to lead us. Pretty yeah. much. They looked very um, helpless. Hapless. Uh, I... what's, what's the priest doing right now? 
Um, after you buried Lady Valrosa, he went back to his chapel. I'm going to go back to the chapel. Okay. And talk to the priest. Okay. Hey, That's what did you're doing. guard mm-hmm. come back with? Yeah, guard's Virgil. with them. Okay, he went. Got. What are Dude, you doing, so... Carmen? He's what not... am I doing? Oh, I don't. Yeah. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm here. I'm just gonna probably walk around with Jack, and at some point, I'm just gonna be like, "Why right, we should get to get going to the caves if we're gonna go? They look all right here. They have Shelby to look after them." You don't want to get some food first. I believe they're making some in the keep. I have rations. I'd rather be on my way. How far are the caves? Oh, yeah. So they drew you a map to the caves. And it seems like they're only about a mile away. Oh. Well, that, yeah, that changes things. I assumed they were like a day away or something. Um, yeah, let's just go. So while you guys yeah. are discussing all this, I'm... Going up to the priest and yes, uh, um, Arthur, it was right. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's correct. Say, what do you know about any goings on in the in the inn? Any goings on in Morax Inn? Yeah, I, I'm not really sure what you mean. Well, it's, I found something very curious. I found a safe. And was protected by magic. Um, I guess I don't really know. He he was pretty reserved. He kept most things private to himself. He's been here a long time. He's probably the one I know the least bit about. Good. It's very odd. Someone has an inn. Yeah. But it's still reserved. Well, I mean, he had help. He wasn't the one serving the drinks. He's. He's a good man, a dwarf, good dwarf. I. No, I, I I don't know. Well, I'll ask him when we get him from the caves. Yeah, you should ask him yourself. Well, I think I will. He's not dead. Okay. Why is it strange to have a magic safe? I suppose it's not. Most of the time you stay it in, you have some valuables, you like them not to be stolen, you give them to the innkeeper. He keeps them secure for you while you're out and about. That way they're just not hiding under your pallet in your room. I think it's a common enough thing. I suppose you are right. I'll let it be. I... Yeah, I got some light. I got some letters to write to Waterdeep about Lady Valrosa. I'm sorry. Let me know when you get back. We sure will. Thank you for your time, and I'll just just walk out and get some food. Okay. Well, the food's not ready yet, but you can eat rations. Yeah, I'm just gonna chew on a ration stick on the way to the caves. I'm be like, hey, good job with the drawbridge. Can you lower it again? I think we're going <laughs> <laughs> to... Guess I'll work on lowering it. I thought we were going to stop for food. Uh, roll your perception. Who? Everyone. Dum, dum, dum. I mean, you're like, please, somebody do this. <laughs> I cannot see anything. I am short, evidently. I fucking crit fail. <laughs> bust. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no. Yep. I've I've rolled under a five on every roll this today. <laughs> Me too. It's great. It's awesome. So that is three yep. failures and two successes. That is not enough. How do you do three failures and two? Because a crit fail is two failures. Uh, Correct. Because um, Carmen botched. Double failed. Yeah, I failed so hard. I failed for somebody else too. Somebody else. Yeah, yeah. What, what happens when you roll a one, Carmen? Why are you being so distracting? What's uh, going on? Let's see. So I'm probably just um, sort of. I guess I'm probably foul mood mooded all the time. So I'm, <laughs> that's I'm, true. I've just got my head down and I'm grumbling about that crazy, weird, snaky 
bitch that we met earlier. I'm like, oh, she's fucking wee beast and crawling on her clothes. I just, oh, it's disgusting. I'm, I'm just mumbling about and being generally ornery and pissy. <laughs> all right. And yeah, you guys end up lowering the drawbridge all the way. And as you do, you see seven riders coming up on horseback to the drawbridge and they're just making a straight bolt to it. Oh, like all speed? All speed. Humanoid? Hmm. Humanoid. Well, I guess I... goblins are humanoid as well, but they're humans. Are goblins humanoid? I think they're actually goblins. Goblinoid. Oh, are they? Yeah, goblinoid. yeah they're goblinoid. Oh, okay. So they're they're coming from uh, along the road. Yep, or... from the road. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna jump up against the wall and be like, "Oh shite!" and let him pass. Okay. So they're, they... they're like coming at a full on gallop, right? Oh yeah, they're riding in yeah. fast, and they'll be here before you could even start raising the drawbridge. Definitely all the way, but mostly not even part of the way. They'll get there before. Dude, I come over here. <laughs> Step out. Okay. What's uh? Where am I? Oh, I'm You're still in the graveyard. The <laughs> <Am I done? laughs> you're probably I'm all probably near each other that. while he's raising the drawbridge I just uh, I step to the side right here by the gatehouse and let him pass they ride past you with no regard to you and they ride straight into the middle of the courtyard there's seven of them and they look determined when they ride in they start circling the courtyard they look around they see everyone what happened here? <clears throat> I Giants. My, if my uh, lieutenant <laughs> takes any command. <laughs> the guy no. you put in charge? Mm -hmm. He no. kind of ducks around the corner. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he does not. He, he didn't earn it at commission. You just made him a thing. Some, yeah. Somebody had to be in charge. I thought he had a 25% chance of being the one who rose to the challenge. Well, he had a 1 in 4 chance to get it right, and he didn't. So, <laughs> I look at you to go talk to him. I'm like, I, I kind of motion you into back into the courtyard. Yeah, I'm like, Jock. <laughs> so you walk up towards him. He's looking at you, and as... Um, you're approaching, I'll go, I'll you see them. a snake that flies through the air and perches on his head. Its wings fold up into its body until oh, it just becomes a snake again. It's coiled around the uh, neck and on the top of his head. Oh, you got something on you. It's right about... I like make motions with a card when it's right around all your... Oh, what do you... Just get the, you got a thing on you. I'll tell you what happened. You hear Kella from the stable say. Oh, mm -hmm. fuck. The cleric, kill him first. Fuck you! I make sure my shield's equipped and I reach for my hammer. Go ahead and roll your initiative. I just hold my hand up. Like, no. <laughs> Go ahead and roll for initiative. All right. <laughs> I knew she was a weird fucking thing. Oh, that's the initiative. I... That work. I am bad at initiative. Boom. Did it happen? It did not happen for me, did it? Hey, there no. we go. I got some initiative. My oh, scroll. did you put your initiative uh, tracker up? Oh, there we go. There's my initiative. Three. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna get a whole bunch of ass moving in before I get to run with my stumpy legs. Oh. See one person on a horse. Is that where all of this is going on? Yep, so they were circling. Really? Why do you keep doing that, you stupid thing? <laughs> How come I'm not in the turn order? Guys? Because we don't like you. No, I gotta put uh -uh. you up. Relax. Relax. Give me one second. Relax. <laughs> Every time I copy it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. The horse is riding the man. Oh, God. I'm definitely <laughs> like, there's a problem here. <laughs> Snake is riding the man. The horse is riding the man. 
<laughs> All right. What the fuck, guy? What, don't you know how this works? You're not from around here, are you? Oh, there's one right next to me. Sweet. Dude, there's six of them? Seven. There's seven of them. Guys, we're going to get fucked up. I'm still at the top of the uh, drawbridge. That's good. Shoot them with your arrows of death. <laughs> yeah, you're at the perfect spot. <laughs> Do the thing, man. Do the thing. Kill the door first. Kill the cleric first. I'm like, oh, fuck. Okay. So. I knew I had the right idea of raising the drawbridge. But... Yeah, that Kella was a good idea. Walked out of the stables here. Let's call this guy the uh, one who was talking in the top Which right. Guy? On horseback, the one with little skull and crossbones. The snakes coiled around the top of his head. And she says, call me a stupid bitch as they start drawing their weapons. And I don't see you, so let me add you a turn order. You can write in your own initiative. (laughs) I I tell her... (laughs) Killing me won't put brains in your head, you daft twat. Damn. <laughs> she told him to kill me, so we're obviously not friends. <laughs> mm, yeah. I can see that. And I was about to tell her that there was food in the keep. <laughs> yeah. Ever, is everyone else in the keep? Like the priest and... Nope. The priest uh, is in the chapel. priest is in the chapel. The guards um, are over here. Oh, shit. They better stay out of this shit. This is... I feel like out of their league. Wait, where are the guards? They were the cemetery. finished mostly oh. burying the body. Yeah. And Put Herschel and the family? Herschel and the family were headed up to the keep to prep food. Okay, so they are... At... <sighs> oh, I'm getting my ass kicked. Arthur, you are first. What do you do, hothead? <laughs> Light him on fire, man. Fireball! No, I don't. Uh, I'm holding my action. Uh, you can kind of see uh, my... I'm readying Firebolt, obviously. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For what? But, but I'm, like, behind my back. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna. I'm readying to uh, attack Kella, and I'll just say, uh, or I guess my trigger will be if you know she attacks uh, me or anyone else. Can I say that? That uh, I'll attack her, but my hand is behind my back, and you're right so, in the uh, middle of it all. Right. Yeah, you're gonna move. And and I'll actually. No, I'm not going to, not right now. And I'll just say, who exactly are you? Okay. And that'll be my turn. Who <laughs> exactly? She's an evil snake loving <laughs> bitch. You're gonna fry the fuck out of her, you stupid mage. <laughs> so they all draw their weapons. He um Looks like he has about five different knives attached to a belt loop that goes from his shoulder to his hip. And he kind of, he has his hand on one of the knife hilts. Well, Kella, do we have to be um, so quick to this? Maybe we can talk to them first. We're here to take this town over. Do you have any objections with that? Aye, it ain't yours. They, he looks at all the men. If he moves, kill him. <laughs> that one. That one that was just talking. They all seem to be ready to act. I look at... Kella uh, looks at him. Darling, thank you for coming so quickly. I don't think they'll listen to reason. And they'd probably rather lay their lives down instead of um, letting us set up shop. That one is the worst of them. That's their turn. I don't know who he's talking about. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm looking at you. I'm like. And Jakad, I guess you should roll off with me. All Just right. a straight D20. So 
So you can go before them if you want. Yeah. Um. So I, I look at you. I'm like, Jock, what should we do? They're obviously up to no good. You speak of reason, and yet presented not. What? I. What he said. You didn't finish your sentence. You speak of reason, and yet you have presented none. I think that's a full sentence. The Lady Kella says we would not be willing to listen to reason. I. Okay. Are you holding? Are you ready in anything? Um. Jack. They mean to do it in for us. They obviously mean it for us. But I do think having them own a desolate piece of rock strewn island is of little benefit. And I'm not 100% sure that fighting will make it any better. This is so, the townsfolk's homes. Uh, right now, we don't know if <laughs> there are any townsfolk. So that was your turn. I say I say all that telepathically because I can shit. speak telepath okay. one person at a time. Okay. All right. So I'm just like, this is their homes. And Brian, I hey, think you got to pull the mic a little closer to your mouth, maybe. Microphone closer to mouth. Because it was there breaking up a few of your words. Oh, geez. Because your stupid limiting idea. <laughs> this is all your fault. What limiting idea? Go ahead, Theodore. What are you just doing? Just kidding. Uh, yeah. Let's see. So, I... I'm just waiting for this guy to begin the dirty because he'd be the closest here. And so I'm in position to strike back. Okay. If he were, yeah, to, if he were to go for uh, Carmen. Okay. Uh... I am going to ready in action to shoot an arrow at whoever takes an offensive accent action against the people I was traveling with. So, okay, you ready your action? Yep. Go ahead, Carmen. Last in order. Okay. okay, so I'm confused. I feel like these guys are like, we're gonna take the town's place and. Fuck the dwarf. And everybody's kind of like, eh, we're going to wait to see what happens. So... <laughs> um, yeah, all right. So I say, fuck it. Sometimes to save lives, you have to take one. I drop my hammer into my hand. I step over to this guy and I crush his leg against the horse's side with my hammer. <laughs> 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 Uh, Diller and Cooper. <laughs> I mean, it did feel like a real Cooper moment when I did it, but. All right. <laughs> and you will start us off. Go ahead and roll to hit. Okay. You ever play dominoes where you just like knock one over just for the fun of it? Yeah, totally. <laughs> I'm definitely one of those guys. I can't look at it for long without knocking one over. <laughs> like, oh my God. <laughs> Okay, what happened? I rolled 21 to hit, and I did 11 bludgeoning damage to his knee. Do you want to do lethal or non-lethal? Um, I probably want to do non-lethal. Okay. You crash your maul against his knee so hard he lets out a scream before he goes unconscious and topples off the back of his horse. <laughs> you spiral fracture his thigh <laughs> yep so i just broke his femur in two places with my hammer and i'm like fuck you and i spit in the ground i'm like bring it and they all that had a ready to action will now use it and then we'll go back yep. to the top and my shield uh, is in hey, the way this josh, is gonna be put it on the stack <laughs> hey josh pokti yeah. pokti just gave you an inspiration for when you needed to take lives to save him thank you pokti Thanks and for let's encouraging start, the darkness. Let's start the uh, one, two, three, four, five. I didn't kill him. I just maimed him and knocked him out. That's one shot. Bounces off your armor. 
Shield. I have my shield up in the way. I was ready for the vol. What's your AC? My AC is 18. So the second so. crossbow bolt hits you square through the uh, shoulder blade. I'm guessing Ouch. your shield of faith isn't still on me. No. Uh, no. It only lasts for 10 minutes. The third oh, shot okay. bounces off your armor. Okay. The fourth shot crits you. Oh, uh, bye, guys. Natural 20. <laughs> you you are yep. crit bait. I am crit bait. <laughs> the dwarf goes down. And the fifth shot misses. So you take a total of 8 plus 4. That's 12. And then you also mm. take 6 piercing. 12 plus 6? Plus 6. You were hit twice. Ooh. <laughs> 12 plus 6. So and I go down to 3. Hit the once. one that was talking throws a dagger at you. Oh, bye. And it See? just oh, bounces God. off your shield. You get shot twice. The third that would probably take you down, you spin around and throw your shield up in front of you as you see him grabbing a second dagger from his belt. One of the arrows is obviously in a lung, so <laughs> I'm in a bad way. All right. That was right, all of off. their turns, except you see Kella. She moves. <clears throat> Back there. Yeah, she's out. And all of these guys will also move. So who had a ready action for when someone went after me? So... I had she a ready action on Kella. Kella. Did. So she didn't attack. Yours doesn't go off. Yeah. But you other guys. I attacked here. All right, you but can he... go ahead and roll your reaction. There's a lot of reactions going on. Yeah. Yeah, There's... I already rolled mine. It was a 26 to hit and four piercing damage to one Which of the Which one are you shooting? Uh, Probably the one closest to me, so I'll say that one. Okay. And you did four piercing damage as you... Launch an arrow from the top of the tower. They didn't even know you were there. He calls it out. He's like, up there. Surprise, Points in your direction. And they all load their crossbows again as they start moving. So I swung here with a 16 to hit on this guy. Okay. That is enough to hit him. And Well, then he takes my swinging flail in the damage. tummy. One second, sorry. I gotta make these work together. I'm seeing all sorts of crazy dances. <laughs> Horse <laughs> dances. Horse Whoa. dances. Whoa. He's gonna move back there. These horses are probably. Alright, and what'd you roll to hit? 16, 8 damage. That's the one that was already hit. Do you wanna do lethal or non lethal? Was he he was already hit. Yeah, by Yeah, you saw an arrow go into him as oh. you were so we both rocked him. Yeah, I'm definitely not lethal. Not lethal. You knock him unconscious, and the horse starts bolting. And it looks like his uh, foot gets stuck in the stirrup. Ooh. Well, and it starts bolting this way. Lethal. Horse doesn't do non lethal. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> he collides with this quarter, this rock. Horse doesn't care. He's dead. Whoops. That was a crazy last turn back to the top arthur arthur shit's going down one two three four five dash one two three <laughs> four i locked myself in the safe five <laughs> no kidding all right that was arthur's turn you have a bonus oh, action if you want it. I will not take it. Okay. Looks like the guy next to you, Carmen, he falls off the horse. And the horse uh, is kind of rearing up and bucking. Okay. Jakad. Um, I'm hurt, man. Yep. So... I'm going to come to here in five feet of you. And I will 
Lay on hands. Thanks, Let's buddy. See I can find it. Lay on hands. All right. So I have. So ten per long rest. Oh, that's why I only have six. So mm -hmm. um, but I'll give you half of them. So I take three more. One, two, three. Okay. So you get three healths is back, and that is. Let me check. Uh, as an action. So if I have a bonus action, then I can do those things. Um, and so I'm going to cast uh, Shield of Faith as a bonus action on you, since they are definitely gunning for you. Yeah, they want to kill me, so appreciate that. Okay, that's what you do. Thank you, lad. <laughs> Um, they will all take their turns. So first, you see the guy that was talking, the one that the snake's resting around his neck. He pops out a little bottle from his pocket and downs a potion. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Looks like a thick um, brown substance. The other guys oh. have another crossbow bolt knocked, and they will loose against you, Carmen. Yep. Shields up. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, fuck, that was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> hindsight right yeah right what so the, the first hindsight? shot hits you with a 20 right. I have I have uh, one of the reasons I moved up is I can impose disadvantage as a reaction let me make sure I'm doing it while wielding a shield and a creature you see attacks target other than you you can use your reaction to impose disadvantage on the attack roll so I guess I won't do the first one since they missed saying it in time but the okay. next one because you do that before they roll yeah all right so the I, first I one throw my will shield hit in the way. you for nine oh. piercing damage good night is that enough to take you down yeah all right so that they've dealt with you came up. so i'm down du -du -du. well once you go down the next one's gonna shoot straight towards the friend that's still in sight Oh, they don't know that fast. Jeepers, creepers. Well, I could keep shooting him, but if they hit him, he dies. I'm prone, so they have disadvantage to hit me now. Yeah. <laughs> can, they, well, can the disadvantage be on that one, then? <laughs> I mean, I was... All right, I'll give I, it I to you one, just because you only had one attack. Time. He only had one attack, and I gave disadvantage to... Yeah, well, I'll, I'll roll it again. To hit. You can do it on that attack. So there right. are still five more, or yeah, five more attacks, four more attacks coming. Yep. Oh, hold on a second. I don't know how to un death save myself. Just I mean, give yourself do... health and it'll go yeah, away. Heal. Whatever just you heal were yourself at. yourself back up for the. Yep, to six. So do remember so when six. you want to um, impose disadvantage, it has to be before I roll. Okay. Well, you, you're. Jump! You were a little bit jumpy. I'm not gonna, not gonna lie. I was reading Third the ability attack. and was like, "I'm gonna do the." Then, wow! He hit you. Okay. Your AC is now a twenty, correct? Yep. Fourth attack. Whew. And I think that is it. One, two, three, four attacks. They all bounce off there's, you. One, two, there's five of them. Three, he spent his three, action four. drinking a potion. Oh, drinking the potion. Oh, that okay. is an action, not a bonus action. Right. But the 20 and the 7 is uh, the disadvantage roll, so I still have one. Yep. 20 oh, and 7. True, true, You're welcome. True. <laughs> yeah, one Thanks, more. <laughs> one more tip. <laughs> Here's the crit. Oh! <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I feel like Luke Gar I feel like uh, who's that guy that used to point to the outfield before Dave he would hit Ruth. a home? Babe Ruth. <laughs> Ruth. Yeah, right. Babe, here's the crit. Stun! He takes it in the chest. So Jacob steps in front of the arrow before it. Um, no, they have to do more than your maximum hit points. Oh, okay, all right. Before it goes into your friend, you deflect the first bolt, and then four more bolts fly from every direction. And one lodges itself right in his gut, a gut shot. And he goes down to his knees and he goes unconscious. Oh. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Kella will take her turn. 
Let me pull that up. This music's <laughs> I would say I'm sorry, Josh, but I'm not. I know you're not. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have already decided we just take turns killing each other when we DM. That's how. <laughs> That's just what happens. <laughs> she yeah. knocks her crossbow bolt and launches it at Jakan, since you're the one next to him. Actually, she won't have good vision on you. She'll yeah, move. She'd have to go through like three horses' legs. <laughs> so she will move. She'll go 5, 10, 15, 20. She's 10, not shooting 15, my down 20. body. Did, she, did you skip me? No, you cowered. You ran. ran. You ran you took a into double gear. action to run into oh, the that... thing. You scared oh. fuck. You did your run and then a dash. I'm gonna impose oh, okay. um partial cover. She has to shoot past this horse, but she will shoot you. All right, my AC is currently 18. Okay, did that roll? That didn't roll. Didn't Can try roll. it again. Can't just keep that 23 forever. <laughs> There it goes. It's a definite miss from the hand crossbow. It bounces off your armor. I don't even dodge or flinch. No. Just sink. Theodore? I will do Hunter's Mark. Uh, I don't know why that decided to roll, but yeah. Oh, because it's doing the damage for Hunter's Mark. Ah, uh, okay. So just keep that well, if you do hit. How about that? Oh okay. my god. <laughs> you hit for not just 10 piercing, but an extra... Six. Is it six? What's a three and two? Piercing slashing. So I don't know I... why. It says I rolled a 1d6. If I rolled you're a doing six piercing one. damage, it's plus three, it sounds like. That doesn't make any sense. Not... Yeah, I don't know how that worked, but I'm going to hover over the... Uh, let's see. Like, link oh. the uh, spell. You know how oh, to do that? It's doing, it's doing a d6 that... for each damage type it could do. It could do bludgeoning pierce. Oh, yeah. Let's roll in d6 for each of those different... Oh, okay, so it's it would be six bludgeoning, three piercing, or two slashing. It's whatever damage type. It rolled a D6 three times. That's so, right. weird. I've I never seen need... that. Yeah, so I would do piercing, so that would be the three if you wanted to go with that. Okay, we can go with that. That's um enough. Uh -oh. Which one are you attacking? Oh, I was actually thinking about shooting this guy because I was going to... Oh, okay. That is not enough. Left. The arrow does um hit, quote-unquote, and this is where we're going to go back to that kind of mechanics where I said... um. Not everything's a hit. Even if it's a hit, it's not like you always take wounds. But it seems like he deflects the arrow a little bit, and it does a total of 13 damage. I see him wiggle on his horse. He did wiggle a little. Theodore, that was your turn. So, Carmen, go ahead and roll death save. You can do it whispered to me, or you can... Do it out in the open. It's up to you. Let me try to whisper it. What's the whisper thing again? Let me see. It was slash. I think it's slash GR. I could be Jeez. wrong. No, it was... Um, you typed it out. Slash GM roll 1D20, I think. Nope, that didn't work. It was slash GM roll space 1D20. Oh, okay. There you go. Got it. Perfect. Cool. That Sweet. was your turn. Arthur, you actually have a good line of sight on Jacquard and Carmen. You see Carmen go down. He goes to his knees and then goes prone. He's holding his gut and there's an arrow sticking straight out of it. Wiggling in the air. Uh, nice AOE possibilities right there. <laughs> is, in, is the... The part of the inn that I am in. <laughs> There's a uh, window right here and here. 
So I'll I'll kind of duck down. So you do have cover. Nice. So I'll I'll go over here. Mm-hmm. Right to the window. You're looking out. You see Kella from that angle. You also see one of the horsemen. Uh. Uh, firebolt. <laughs> okay. Firebolt. And, uh, as, I'm, as I'm yelling, I will say, you must stop now. And. <laughs> <laughs> I love the arguments when you're, you tell people so to naughty. stop after you're shooting them. Well, there we go. <laughs> Nine fire damage. Nine and fire damage. And yeah. And I will duck down. And then you duck down for total cover. Yep. Yeah. He's like, ah, as you see, like the flames lick up his entire body and then they don't ignite if it's a person, but he definitely looks um, hurt. Her? Did you hit her? Yeah. Oh, okay. Then she screams and that was your turn, Chakad. Hmm. All right, so we have problems. Nobody here. Um, this horse is still lurking nearby, right? Yeah, it was bucking. It hasn't left. It has not left. It has not left. It looks a little freaked out, a little wild. Okay. So, my action. I lay on hands for one. Okay. You lay on hands and Carmen goes back up. And you, then the, you still have the arrow sticking out of your gut. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh, shit, that hurts. Dude. Then I move. And as a. I don't. I am going to do it. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to keep the concentration rolling on Shield of Faith for... For Carmen. Mr. Carmen. Okay. So I just I just move up there. So you double move, you are done. Yeah. Well, I only have to single move to do it. Okay, you single move. He's faster than me. Mm-hmm. Huh. And that's closer. Mm-hmm. She moves up, looks inside, and launches a crossbow bolt at you, Arthur. <laughs> and right misses. Now my AC's 15. fifteen. Correct. It it actually lodges itself in the door. She yells, "This one next!" And you see the uh, horseman ride right up to the window where he has a good looking down on you view. Ooh. And he's going to shoot in. Oh. Disadvantage because he's Disadvantage so close. because you're prone. No. Because uh, I'm either prone? Way, well, you were ducking, weren't you? It's, it's, oh, it's disadvantage yeah. both ways. Either because okay. you're prone or because he's within five. Okay. It's all just disadvantage. So he will... Oh, wrong one. Disregard that one. Just disregard that... That wrong roll. So this is with disadvantage. He shoots the bolt and it misses. The Shoot. Uh, bolt just goes right over you and you hear it clatter into the ground. Thinking. Next to you, uh, Jacquard. Ryan, just to remind you, someone gave you an inspiration. Oh, I know I have an inspiration. <laughs> I don't need it today. <laughs> <laughs> Today, you are having troubles. Jakat, the one with the snake around, the snake coils itself and kind of slithers into his clothing again. He pulls out his scimitar, and he launches a barrage of attacks. Oh, no. Coward! So, first attack. You are 18, correct? Correct. Is a miss. You throw your shield up. Second time, he swings in. You manage to just move out of the way. (laughs) And the third time he swings, 
Your shield is saving you right now as he launches a barrage ding, of attacks. Ding, ding. Sounds like the bell in the tower going off. <laughs> and he yells to everyone, Focus this one next, he says, as oh. he gives you an attack of opportunity. <laughs> they disagree. They give gives me a, an attack of opportunity? He does. Yeah, he's going to ride away. Uh, da, 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 da. Wow. Let's see if that worked. 18 for only 18. 4 damage. And they will all launch attacks at you. 1, 2, 3 of them. Oh, dude. So one crossbow bolt hits you. Did I... I want to... Let's get the important things. Did I uh, make good contact with... When you hit him? The 18. Did I do Oh, you four hit damage? him. Yeah, sorry. I forgot okay. you had the attack of opportunity. Yep. So you did your four bludgeoning, and when you hit him, you feel like it kind of bounces off his skin, and you see a slight sheen of a magical aura around him when it hits. Brrr, looks like he has a little bit of um, protection. Bastard. So you got hit with one, and the last one. So only one crossbow bolt connects with you. It deals you a total of two piercing damage. Damn it. One, two, damage. There you go. All right. That was their turn. They're going to do a little bit of moving. Let's so the guards in the cemetery are just like... They are not joining your fray. Like They're not doing Nice. That. Okay. He's going to go take cover. He's also going to take cover. And this guy feels like he's pretty good where he's at. Well, there we go. All right, that was all their turns. Theodore. Uh, let's see. I can still get this guy in my sights, so I'm going to go ahead and try to shoot at him. Okay. Is a 15 hit? 15 will hit. Oh, snap. I'll do my... Hunter's Mark. Which one are you hitting? I'm sorry. Uh, the guy I have Hunter's Mark on. Okay, him. So that'll be... Uh, seven damage. Okay. Seven damage. And again, you see as you hit him, there's like a little magical aura that emanates from his body as if he has some sort of protection. This one, though, does kind of lodge itself through his armor. Carmen? Okay. I get to my feet hmm? while I'm holding the arrow abdomen. God, that's horrible. Um... Shit, I'm so far away from everybody. Life is so hard when you're a dwarf. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, so close. I mean, you did start it. And I did. Start. And I think you're laying down, too. So you, you have to stand up. Yeah. yeah. Which is half your movement. You myself, up. dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess. Uh, um, I use the other half of movement to get onto the horse. Yes. So I'm now mounted, which solves the speed problem. <laughs> and then I will use an action to... Um, <laughs> no, I'm not going to flee. <laughs> uh, uh, give me an animal an handling check. Uh-oh. Yep. We got to believe in you. Mm. How bad was it? That's not horrible. You're, you manage to jump on. The horse still seems a little wild, a little freaked out, but it doesn't buck you immediately. But you will not be able to give it the dodge, the disengage, or the dash action. That's fine. You can get it to move, though. Okay. A little uh, wildly. Now, if I move it, does that count as an action for me or a bonus action, or what is that? Oh, that's free. Moving that's a horse free. is free. 
Okay, so I move the horse right into her face. Yeah. And I tell her, I'm not dead yet, bitch. <laughs> 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 so I ride right up to her face. And then I will spend my bonus action healing wording myself. Because I'm so hurt. You ride so up to her that. and healing word yourself? I heal my word in the way over. Actually, my healing word will be, I'm no dead yet, bitch. And I'll heal myself on the way over. Okay. How much did I get from that? You got uh, nine. Nine. and Sweet. That's amazing. That's cool. I mean, you know, that's what I do. So I give myself... Oh, for some reason it says I have... Uh, no, that's not right. Okay, nine. Heal. Mm -hmm. So I'm at ten. Mm -hmm. And then I punch her in the face with my hammer. Okay. Because fuck her, that's why. You whip your mace around and... Hammer, war hammer. Wow, there we go. I deal 11 bludgeoning damage to her face. Deal Bam. 11 bludgeoning damage to her face after she's already taken nine. I'm no dead yet, bitch. Oof. And yeah, it actually makes a good connection with her face. You hear something crack as it swings her head around to the side. It snaps her head. And I'm not trying to kill her. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> she turns around. She looks pissed. I do want to make her ugly for life, but I don't want to kill her. <laughs> She's not down yet. I'm like... How you like your new nose, you snake hooker? <laughs> <laughs> the most foul mouth life cleric ever. All right. That was your turn, Arthur. Um, so I assume this guy's going to get an attack of opportunity if I move, but I'm moving. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And he will go uh, to swing as you do. He pulls out his... I think he has a short sword. Let me check. Nope, he has a scimitar. And he'll have normal to hit. Oh, come on. Did it roll? No, it didn't. Okay. He does swing to hit, and it uh, hits the thatch of the roof before it even lands. That was close. And I'll chuck a firebolt at uh, Snake Hooker. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that thing? Snooky. Snooky, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A 12 is not a hit. You launch the fireball past. Is it a hit? Oh. Do you have an inspiration? Yeah. I had an inspiration from Polk D. Or no. Who gave me one? I have two. I got one last game and I got a new one this game. So you can hang on to one. I got right? one right after Josh. Okay. I just can't remember who gave so, Josh, why have you not used inspiration on the crits? <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I make them reroll? No. Oh, never mind. Right. It's just for me to reroll. You're seen that. Gotcha. Ah, that would All right. Be Your inspiration so does hit for a total of one damage. Ah, <laughs> thanks, Yark. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the worst firecaster ever. Real. The firebolt so singes her. She looks very upset and uh, licks flames up and just takes the uh, split ends of her hair off. Okay, and then with my <laughs> last the last five feet of movement, I walk out the door. Yeah, you're like, and, getting it. and you just got another inspiration for how bad you're doing. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> doing so bad. I guess it doesn't really matter if I'm just doing one damage. There you go. The world's worst evoker. Jakad. All right. I'm in a five foot. Oh, that's not the right clicky. Five foot. Let's see. Good night. And I do a big <laughs> rainbow arcing flail over the top. Oh my god. Crash. Good and night. I, I take out her collarbone. Lethal or non lethal? Non lethal. 
though I probably explode her collarbone. <laughs> you do. <laughs> <laughs> Pow. <laughs> Did you say your flail is the one with three chains? Um, let me see what. I'm... No, I think it's the think one. My, isn't it? I think my picture just has one on it. Okay. So it's it's not as big an anime style as the Witch King yeah. in Lord of the Rings, but it's a similar idea. Got it. It's what it's like a one of those mini bowling balls on the end of a chain well, attached to. That's a stick. even more terrifying because it hits her square in the collarbone. And you hear her yeah. scream before you silence her. And then, uh, so five, so ten, fifteen, twenty. And I'm going to actually baseball slide this guy, like, down around the legs so that he has disadvantage to shoot me. Okay, so you I mean, prone. if you're within five feet of him, he has disadvantage to shoot you anyways, but you can go prone. Oh, well, yeah, in case anyone's really mad about the collarbone thing I just did. All these other guys also have actions. <laughs> I'm right in front of her, sitting high on a horse. You're fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. They're gonna put holes in me. Go pro and do it. I'm I'm gonna ride my horse in the middle of the So them let's there. let's uh see. You hear the one that has been leading them. Get the cleric first again as you're on the horse. And I they give all him a finger. <laughs> I hold my shield up. Okay. So the first bolt goes wide. Do you still have shield of faith on you? Uh, yeah, Jakad, did you take damage? damage? Okay, no. I have. Um, oh no, you took. I two did take or two damage. Somewhere. So you do need to roll a con. Well, was that this game? Yeah, uh, yeah, just recently. I just took yep. two. So damage you do need to roll oh, yeah, a concentration. Right. Concentration. Um, concentration. So I think that one, that works. That yep. is enough. Yep. Was it two? Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you do still have Shield of Faith, and then another crossbow bolt launches your way. Crit. Nope, but thank God that Shield of Faith. That Shield of Faith (laughs) flashes before your eyes. You see that aura of protection as the uh, crossbow bolt's deflected. Another one shoots. Maybe. Sometimes I feel like it's not clicking. There we go. The third one hits against your armor. Sing, 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 sing. Four? <laughs> Four. Oh, the guy that Brian G is right next to has disadvantage to shoot me because someone's within five feet of him, just for future reference. Oh, yeah, but there's still just that one. person. Oh, yeah, okay, I gotcha. I missed the guy that's over here. Actually, it was that guy, so he'll give you an attack of opportunity, Brian. I missed this guy over here. Okay. He so this will... one, I get an attack of opportunity on him? Yeah, he's going to move. I have... I beg to differ. Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> Eight damage? All right. Mm-hmm. He hasn't been hit yet, but you do land a solid blow on him as he's retreating on horseback. And he stays, well, with that solid hit, I'm going to actually see if he stays on the horse. Yeah, because it's as he's running by, so I just baseball. Wait, wait, did you baseball it. slide next to him? Uh, yeah. I give you an attack of opportunity on the horse, which we can okay. still use yeah. that same roll. Yeah. It's... Let's see if the horse bucks him. Does the horse have eight hit points? More than eight hit points, yes. Okay. Horses are pretty sturdy. Um, he manages to stay on, actually. You do land a solid blow against the horse's leg. It tries to kick out at you, and it kicks right over your head. <laughs> Looks a little upset. And then, that was these four. And then this guy will throw a knife at you. Knife number two. So that dagger goes over your head. (laughs) No, today, boys. Kella is down. Go ahead, Theodore. Uh, Same thing, attacking the uh, leader guy with my bow. Oh! 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 (laughs) Roll your hunter's mark. 
<laughs> in his eye, uh, dude. I actually uh, made a custom weapon that just adds Hunter's Mark to it. So that's yep. the total. Oh, oh nice. That's awesome. Good move. Yeah, it's five plus seven and six plus one. Five so plus 12, seven and six plus, seven, plus one. Are they damage? separate damages? Or they all count as uh, one single damage? Uh, it's all piercing, but it it would be considered two different, I believe. Okay. Let me see what it says. Uh, extra d6. You deal an extra d6. So it's the same. It's like a uh, sneak attack or something. Yes. It it's makes a little damage. bit of a difference in this. In what seems like one of your most glorious shots would normally take anyone down, this aura of protection um, manages to keep him up right and oh. seemingly fine. You know, I've been forgetting is that I have heavy armor match, so I'm taking three hit, three damage less from each attack. <laughs> <laughs> the whole well. reason you... <laughs> yes, we'll, keep, we'll do that from now on then. It's probably a good call. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Sorry, guys. All right, Theodore. Go so ahead. Karma. My spells. <laughs> Sorry, man. All right, so whose turn is it? Mine? It's yours. Can I ride my horse down here? Am I controlling the horse now? You are. But you can't get it to dash, disengage, or dodge. No, I'm not. I'm not controlling 10, the horse. 20, I'm just controlling 30, me. 40, 40. You can control the horse. No, no, I mean, physically, I can't move the horse. Yeah, you can. Uh, what did you sure? do? No, phys in, in the map he can't. Yeah, in the map I can't move. You the haven't horse. given him control of that horse. Well, I did, but maybe it's not working. All right, let me try. No, it's not working. Let's try it again. All right, how about now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'll move you. Where do you want to go? Oh, no, wait, 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 wait! I got it. I got it. There we go. That's the horse. <laughs> And that's me. so fast sideways. Oh, there we go. <laughs> right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Is it, what's its speed? Is its it speed 50 is 60. or? Say it again. Its speed is 60. Okay. I move right up to this guy. And. um, I hit him with the hammer. Ugh. This guy, correct? Yeah, the okay. dude. You Captain swing your hammer man. around, and he um, like looks like he's uh pulling up his scimitar <laughs> to parry the blow. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. It gets around his parry, and you clock him right in the face. Ouch! For eleven bludgeoning damage. Yep. He looks like he one of his tooth chips. Nice his teeth. He looks at you, smiles, spits blood out on the ground. I smile back with We're the arrow protruding out of my Right stomach. to kill him first. Put a couple more in him after he's down. Uh-oh. <laughs> Arthur? Goodbye, Cleric. <laughs> uh, so you didn't want a bonus Arthur. action healing word? <laughs> I don't have any more. Ten, <laughs> I'm out. 20, I'm out. 30. And I'm going to cast Sleep. And sleep has a 90 foot range and a 20 foot radius. Oh, no. But you start with the guys with the least amount of hit points. If you do that in a <laughs> where do you want to radius, that? you're going to hit Carmen. I will go to sleep. Carmen will go to sleep. That's fine. Which is what if you put them right here? <laughs> Which is yeah. fine. I'm going to put them all to sleep. Uh, it doesn't work. It won't like work that. like that. So basically, it will put. That many well link the spell. Okay. Say Carmen has five hit points left. Mm -hmm. Out of your sixteen, have... it would use five, and then he'd go to have... sleep. Now you have eleven left. The next person with eleven or less goes to sleep. Then you oh, have the remaining. I have I have ten hit points, so I'll soak up a large portion of that spell. Okay. Correct. Well, son of a B. Well, I guess I'll You could put it over Plus here. Quantity. Yeah, I was going to say over here or over here would work with it. Yeah, I'll cast it on that guy then. Which one? Uh, you might you might even be able to hit both of these guys. Yeah, you, you could hit both of those guys. Uh, yeah, that's what I'll do then. Just in case you roll well. So, 
But do, do, do. And then this poor bastard inside is suddenly sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, so I'll roll my <laughs> guard falls asleep. I like that guard still there. <laughs> you, know, you roll like a god. Twenty six. Way to be awesome. Wow. Yeah, dude. Three six five seven five. You killed it. So you were going for this radius. Its radius is twenty, 20 feet. feet. Mm. Well, these are ten foot squares. Mm-hmm. Five, ten, five, so ten. a radius is ten. So he ten. can. No, the radius is twenty. Yeah, right? oh, radius is twenty. So he can hit both these guys. Well, we have to see. He might not hit the guys at all, because you can. He puts it right there. Correct. Center. So from dead center to dead center is twenty-one point seven, but that math is off, so it's forty-two. Which horse did you Ooh. hit? Oh, no. Um, horses. <laughs> he hit, was, hit, he hit this one. horse right here. Yeah, that horse. All right. That one goes to sleep, and it soaks up. You know, I didn't even write the damage down. I want you hit that horse. It was for nine. It, it was eight short. or nine, wasn't it? Eight. It was eight. Thank you. Eight. I did eight damage. I was damage looking up in the history. Was eight damage. So you did eight damage to the horse. It soaks up five of that sleep immediately and goes to sleep. Is there a little sleep button? There's got to be, right? A little yep. Z's uh-huh. somewhere. In the, uh, not the settings, but the little circle down below. Yeah, I don't see it. There's That's fine. We'll use. Whatever. Use the X. <laughs> the X. <laughs> <laughs> Falling asleep in battles. Fatal. The ninja. All right, we'll use the X. Oh, the second face right next to the skull and crossbones is called Sleepy. Oh, it looks like ninja. <laughs> Sleepy yeah. ninja. Sleepy ninja. So that one soaks up the sleep. And then the dude sleeps. The dude goes to sleep and soaks up 11 more. So 16 of it. 16. That leaves 10, 10. which doesn't get anyone else man whatever so the horse over here and the guy both fall asleep the horse falls asleep standing up and he slouches over in the saddle chicago horse oh i'm over here doing it bro yeah i cannot get to you and they're about to Pump you full of bad news. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I mean, this guy over here still needs someone to beat him up. <laughs> he needs a friend. I'm counting on the archer to pull me yeah, out of this. That's the archer. Get the one that went to sleep. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try something here. Mm-hmm. Gamble a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Fifteen. I'm gonna grab her by the scruff of her neck, and I'm gonna drag her forward a couple feet. I'm okay. going to holler out to everyone. Uh, Throw down your weapons! Oh, fuck. Um, Persuasion? Are you going to kill her? I say he is throw down your weapons. He's insinuating <laughs> that he's going to. There's, okay. some There's two ways you can go about this. You're not going to kill her. No. I am going... I'm presenting that she has fallen. Okay. There's two ways you could do it. You can either do a performance or a deception. Well. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to use my inspiration. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Worse. Oh, no. I can't, uh, see, I can't uh, see the bottom of my scroll ever. It's bad. If you ever scrolled up, you have to scroll down again all the way. I think. Yeah. It. I. I had some issues where my thing. My. I took the chat log, and apparently I can zoom in or out on that. Yes. Uh-oh. So it, it <laughs> turned things into all sorts of tomfoolery, and I haven't been able to <laughs> fix it. it. Yeah, Should when you relaunch it. Yeah, I'm um, considering relaunching at, when we go on break. He's going to call your bluff because oh, you're yeah, bluffing. Yes. And he says, once we kill the cleric, 
him next. They would have killed her if they wanted to already. And they will all attack you, Carmen. He pulls out a scimitar. Well, he already had a scimitar out. He was trying to parry your blows. He launches three quick attacks at you. Oh, okay. Is that uh, performance a the full... Um, oh, wait. Yeah, I guess yeah you do get formation. a... Uh, yeah, I think that would be your action. Because I, I have here. to wait to see if they're going to respond. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. It was worth a shot. It was a gamble. It was a gamble, and unfortunately, the die are probably not with me. Not today. So, oh, oh. Chris, oh. so bad. So he so launches bad. two quick attacks. One, two. The second one deals 12 damage, minus three. Yes, okay. minus three. Do not forget the yep. minus three. <laughs> so nine. Oh, that hurt. Are you still up? I'm really in the saddle, but I'm still up. Okay. And then he launches another attack. So is team. that three crit, by the way? Three? Well, you are crit bait. So I am welcome okay. to being crit bait. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I've had three so far. And now three crossbow bolts. They are going after you. Yep. You guys stop welcome. you from healing. Face tanking the shit out of this. They're like, stop him from healing. I can't heal anyway. Do you take a minimum damage? Oh, man. Maybe. Let's read the feet. I don't know. Okay, let's read the feet. Features and traits. Feats. Heavy armor master. Uh, while wearing... While you were wearing heavy armor, bludgeon, piercing, and slashing damage, you take from... By three. Woo! You roboted out <laughs> for Heal me. for one. What's up? <laughs> I didn't hear Reduced what you said. Reduced by three. Reduced Just by three, reduce straight by. up. Yep. So, so... That actually just lodges itself inside of your armor it doesn't do any damage to you as it's hitting me i twist so my armor catches it um is your ac still 20 it is Whew. lucky you but you are really hurt they all launch bolts at you i am really hurt i am really really hurt you say lucky him when he's got crit three times this game so far. Well, lucky you that you're not dead yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> lucky you that I'm not Yes, there's that. <laughs> and they're going to move back. They're bringing it on. Oh, no, they're running? No, they're uh, just yeah. hiding. Jack, I could really use your help a lot. <laughs> All right, that was all of their turns. Theodore. Uh, same guy, same thing. You are focused. He is my He's, hunter's mark. Just pumping this guy with arrows. God, oh God, you are rolling like a <laughs> god today. <laughs> this dude is eating arrows like nobody's business. Arrows, it's what's for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> he's a pin cushion by this point. So again, just to get past that idea of like he's a pin cushion, <laughs> he takes 16 damage as the arrow um, bounces off some of his protection, some of his armor. It still uh -huh. does that damage, quote unquote. Right. It's using up his will to live. <laughs> Josh, his skill, his luck, and his magic. I have another inspiration. I wish that's three now. Okay. Yeah, I have to use spread them this way. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> There's no begging for inspiration. Say it's, nope. say it's a little sexier. They it is your turn, they, Carmen. They, 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 they that, that was my sexy, sexy my turn. <laughs> um, okay, so see, this is where it gets rough because I have one hit point, and I could heal myself with my channel divinity, or can I you do that in guy. combat or is it out of combat? Yeah. Uh, I can do it in combat. It's just an action. Okay. It's up to you, then. Hmm. I'm going to heal myself, but stay engaged with him. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Channel Divinity, preserve life. As an action, I can use my Channel Divinity and present my holy symbol, so I hold up my shield with the symbol of Morden on it, and I say, Morden... Bless your servant that I may beat the shit out of these fuckers. And... You hold I your restore. symbol up. And as you mm -hmm. do that, 
They look at you with fear in their eyes, all three of them. These guys. Oh, oh nice. They look so scared. Is it half of my hit point max round up or round down? Uh, I think everything rounds down unless it otherwise says, right? Okay. So I get nine hit points instead of ten. Boo. All right. The bandit in the back, his jaw drops as you heal yourself. Golden light swirls around me for a moment, and I look refreshed. Kind of. He says, Run! Really? Arthur? That's all it took? Uh, I'm going to cast Firebolt on Firebolt. <laughs> that guy. Of course you are. Yeah, sorry, this takes me a second. Did it go? It did go. 14 is not a hit. The fireball streaks past your friend, hits against this guy's armor, and disperses into the air. <laughs> ah, Withers in flames. Yeah, I get a little worried, so I'm going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And as I'm running, I'm running towards the guards in the graveyard. Uh, they're all, they're not actually all grouped together like that anymore. They've, they're hiding in the chapel. Yeah, they went to hide. They're like, oh, <sighs> this is one of our pay grade boys. Well, come on, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> they hid. Oh my goodness. That guy took command and he was like, get me in the fucking chapel, boys. <laughs> well then I enter the chapel okay and I yell quick circle back around the buildings we got them on the run tell them tell them to raise the drawbridge keep them in here <laughs> oh no kidding yeah well I didn't say that <laughs> I didn't say that and it's too late for that um Jakot <clears throat> all right it took um, me a minute to lower or raise it anyway, so. Yeah, it's a little while. And that's so at the I... bottom of the tower, by the way, not the top of the tower. Oh, okay. Five. You should have surrendered. <laughs> now, I got a weird question. If a horse disengages, do you get an attack of opportunity on the guy? I'd say it's in the same space, so... Yeah, they they have to be treated as, like, one creature. So yeah, then if the that. horse disengages, you will not get an attack of opportunity. But, but you, does it take... Can you get up action? there and hit, Brian? Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, 10, 20, 20 yeah, 30. I guess you can. That's... I think it, I counted it out. That it was, was it. Real yep, close. Because I started here. So yep, five. I just counted it. Okay. So nine to hit is not enough to hit. You just bounce off the leg armor. Bastard. I don't think I had any... For, does it further. take an action for them to command... When they command the horse to disengage, does it take an action? Nope, you get that for free. Okay. We went over horse combat last campaign. It's kind of awesome. And you get a free action to do a dash, disengage, or dodge. And it's also a free action to move it. To command it. Okay. I'm looking at sage advice right now for horse actions. <laughs> Don't do uh, it. Not, not in the middle of the game. <laughs> They start to uh, flee. This guy, he just flees next to you. Um, you're going to get an attack of opportunity. Yay, I get to swing again. Not you. Aw. Ooh. Oh, you then. Oh, me? Yep. Yeah, fuck that dude. Yeah, the leader leaves. I hope he doesn't. That's right. Roll we have hit. questions uh, to ask of uh, these other... 
15 is a hit for eight bludgeoning damage. I try to unseat him when I hit him. Wow. Um, it does not unseat him. You do okay. land a solid blow against him. He didn't even try to parry it. And he looks a little unfocused and scared. This guy down here, the bandit, the one that screamed run, points up. It's for Golos! And runs. Wait, what the fuck did it? He points Fogolos? up. I look up. Is the cloud tower above us? You look up. You turn. You look behind you and you see a shadow in the sky. Something flying near the village quickly flying and it's actually making a straight beeline towards the village it's large it's very large oh no this guy runs and yeah you're gonna get an attack of opportunity jacquard he runs too I had one of those moments where they were all scared, and I was like, yeah, they're totally freaked out. Morden's the man, but it wasn't me. It was like when the monster <laughs> comes up behind you in the dungeon. So long, monster behind you scaring everybody. That's great. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. That's awesome. And your attack misses, Jacon. Does that miss the horse? Are you hitting the horse? Yeah, that's the horse I already hit, right? Oh, okay. no, the horse, oh, no, the horse actually hits the sleep. Okay, never mind. No. You can hit the horse. Nah, I'll be, I don't have anything okay. against the horse. <laughs> you don't want uh -huh. to, but... Yeah, it does not hit. It does not connect. That was your turn, Jacon. Or that was their turn. So then it would be Theodore. Theodore. Does so 17 hit the guy? Hunter's marks. <laughs> you have a Let's pretty slide. high... Well... Hmm, hmm, hmm. Give me a perception check, Theodore. Uh, perception 16. You see a shadow start to overcast part of the village it's coming from north uh do i know about how long it's gonna be how long i was gonna know you don't you okay. could turn around and look yeah, i'm still gonna take my shot your shot is a hit who are you shooting the leader uh same leader guy he's my hunter mark so He is still up as another arrow deflects off of his uh, magical protection. It looks like um, he's bloodied, technically. Good God. Wow. Beating the smack out of that guy. And you can still take a peek. You can look up north. Okay. Uh... I'll take a quick glance up there. Okay. Let me see. You see something that's flying towards the village with all haste. A large, enormous winged dragon. Oh, fuck. I beg your pardon? Well, Jack, it's been good. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate your kindness. However, I look out for my childhood friend. <laughs> like, Arthur, run! <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> I will move to the bottom of the tower, and that is my turn. <laughs> <laughs> you move to the bottom of the tower. Good job. Mm. Um, Carmen, you can see it getting closer and closer. Uh, its shadow is now blocking the sun out. 
You are overcast in complete shadow. Okay, so question. What if I want to pick somebody up on the horse as I ride? Can I do that? Mm. If they were readying their action to jump on the horse, you're not going to just, like, collar the, the guy called Jakad, who is a unit, and pluck him up and onto the horse. Yeah, you can't I'm not talking about Jakad. Jakad's too heavy. Yeah. <laughs> we, we were you talking about? The <laughs> I mean, he's huge. You could he's pluck like a child up off the ground. You could grab a, what a, a young adult. What about adult. the ranger? He's slight. Uh, no, you probably couldn't just pluck him up and off the ground. You could drag him. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> but if he wants to be drugged. Do you want to be drugged? Because I think I'm leaving with Snake. <laughs> um, I actually have really high movement, so you might be better off grabbing somebody else. Can I drag Jakad? No. No. Arthur? Okay, I ride towards Arthur. Okay, you ride towards Arthur. He's in the chapel. He's in the chapel. Is it, can I see him by the door over here? Yeah, you can see him peeking out the door and in when he was uh, fighting. He's peeking out. Okay, how far is it from me to the chapel? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Uh, I won't make it there in one movement. Mm. Uh, it's a dragon. You know what? I get down off the horse and I slap its ass and send it on its Okay, you slap the horse on the ass. I let the horse go. We're not going to get away from a dragon. Roll your animal mm -hmm. handling. Mm -hmm. I tell it, be free, beast. <laughs> Run while you can. But if it's going to chase you on the horse, it's going to chase the horse by itself. I don't think that's true. Dragons are smart. I mean, maybe I stay on the horse. You're right. I stay on the horse and I wait. I just wait it out. I'm like, fuck it, here it comes. <laughs> my death approaches in, this little, in my dwarven mind. I'm like, this is the end. It's like smog. I'm like, game over, man. Okay. That's what you do. And we'll go back to the top. Arthur? Um, should I roll a perception to see if I see this dragon? Because I'm kind of inside the... You've been peeking out and in and out and in. You okay. heard the commotion. You heard someone shout, run! And you can see the shadow when you look to where the battle was taking place down near Carmen. I mean, I'm looking up and my jaw is open. Blasted. Uh, so I'll just turn to the guards in here. I Keep inside. And I will... Man, maybe it's just flying over us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're funny. You're so funny. And I, you know what? I'm going to keep inside this well. <laughs> Stay inside this flammable building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. A single fireball burned into a crisp. <laughs> this poor town has gotten bent over so hard. First the giants, <laughs> then the goblins, then the snake people, and now the dragon. It's like, dude... How hard can one town take there, it? There's five buildings. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. One natural, natural catastrophe per building, right? Yeah, no kidding. <clears throat> As you jump back into the building, you can now hear the wings through the air. They're powerful. <laughs> and it's getting closer and closer until the shadow is now... Dissipating is becoming a little smaller and smaller because it's coming closer and closer to the ground. Oh, well, come on. <laughs> okay. And it lands like, near the graves. Oh, run! Man. Run out of the building! <laughs> One claw is on top of the palisade, and when it touches on top of those tall spiked posts, it just crushes one completely in the ground. You see splinters shattering. The other claw lodges itself on the side of the um, moat, and it's um, just gripping into the earth. Its claws are piercing in like big spikes. I am the serpent of the skies, and you are just snakes that crawl on your bellies. He roars, 
And you see him um, blow a gout of, well, is it flame? I don't know if it's flame. That's a good question. Uh, what color is Oh, it? shit. They're doing it at me, aren't they? <laughs> mm-hmm. You're in the you're in the midst of all of them. Wait a second. It doesn't like you. serpents. It is right. it's a crackling gout of lightning shoots from its mouth and surges across um the man <laughs> that you never heard his name. And now we never will. And now you never will. He screams and he's immediately silenced. The horse is cooked to a crisp instantly. The drawbridge starts to shatter in pieces. You see one of the chains snap. Not only did this guy get crisp, but the chain snaps so hard from the tension it hits the guy right in the face where he used to have a face. Whipsies. That's rough. The dragon continues... My name is Fogolos. And he shouts at the top of his lungs a mighty roar. Fogolos. Fogolos. F-O-L-G-O-L-O-S. Flames of Fogolos. And this guy (laughs) continues on. Chikai, what are you doing? Um... Okay, well, first thing, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to pluck that little guy off of his horse. <laughs> <laughs> Just t- toss him to his back <laughs> over here. Um, and then... You might want to move away from him. Just saying. And then the horse is actually still asleep, isn't he? Yes. You can wake well, him up if you take an action to wake him. The drawbridge yeah. starts sinking into the moat where it's now broken. Uh, I'm going to gamble one last time because mm-hmm. <laughs> this is kind of like rolling the die of fate. Um, I'm going to... That's a bad example. It's a bad example, but you know what? I'm I'm already pretty deep in, so I'm gonna grab him by the scruff, and I'm gonna begin dragging him up toward the other, um, the lady and the soldier, and we're gonna I'm gonna put all three of them in a pile, and I am going to attempt to appear brave, and uh, hopefully no one gets close enough to me to smell the urine <laughs> as I. Uh, <laughs> I'm also set on uh, turning away these snake folk. Okay. And I really hope that he has some specific knowledge and doesn't just see, you know, mortals as vermin. <laughs> Chakad, you just wet your pants. <clears throat> I mean, baby puddles. Your but, boots are wet. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm just greasing the armor. You all have an action except Jakad. Yeah, because I'm dragging, dragging uh, Sleepo. I'm going to move over here and take a pot shot at this guy who's still running. <laughs> <laughs> which, Bam. which guy? Uh, This guy right here. Who he actually made it out of the oh, town. Wow. Oh my way god. West. The guy way to the west. Uh-huh. He can hit him. No problem. Roll to hit. That is a... Oh, did you want to use a bonus action to move your Hunter's Mark to him first? Uh, I actually have to do... uh, Cast it again because they have to die, I believe. Oh, he died. If the target drops to zero. This guy guy did die. die. Never mind. So So, yeah, bonus action, move it over and plug him for 13. For 13 damage (laughs) is enough. If a 16 hit. And that that definitely hit. He falls out of the saddle. The horse keeps running. Work for me. They're going to take their action to keep running. Even though you're shooting them down. Can they get over the drawbridge now? They're going to try. 
it's not gone gone it's sagging into the water right so it kind of broke halfway down the chain is um now in the water completely after it snapped this guy's head off and they're gonna try to jump the moat not the whole moat but part of it that one guy makes it oh yeah they both made it lucky them well they're not out of sniper reach or dragon range well they right. are getting past the tree so they'll at least have partial cover from you <laughs> do you do you have sharpshooter alex uh no i decided to go with uh the medium armor oh, medium armor master right yeah so that was your action arthur what are you doing uh i am staying inside this Mm -hmm. building I'm just holding Carmen um <laughs> this is a real guess... weird dragon scenario I'm not gonna lie I'll just slowly walk my horse over here <laughs> oh that's <laughs> weird what have you done that, that didn't work at all here no now I'm all fucked up now when I move me, me the horse you? moves to get <laughs> the fucking horse <laughs> Just put me on the horse. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> now when I move, he doesn't move us both? Nope. Okay, whatever. I don't care. I move over to there. <laughs> Do you know how to... Gonna... Is it control clicking? Is that what you need to be doing? You, you have to shift ones? click both of them at the same time. Shift click. Oh, uh, okay. I don't expect you to have to do that all the time. Yeah. You, you don't have to figure out how, where the shift button is. <laughs> That doesn't work. <laughs> Anyways, you moved. You you move with your horse towards the dragon. There we go. I got it. Okay. Good job. So yeah, I move over there slowly. I'm gonna put my action to animal handle the horse and calm it down. Uh, <laughs> Be calm, uh, horse. The dragon. It's means freaking you out. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. That's why I have to, I'm gonna use an action to try to try to calm it down. I'm like, oh, there, beast. Freaking out. It's not helping anyone. Oh man, I inspire my, my horse with an inspiration. <laughs> You've got three, why not? Yeah, do I inspire it? Nope. No. I don't. You have one more. I use, I use another one. Actually, Come you on. Two more. You got you're just throwing them away. <laughs> you can't get anything. And you're throwing your inspirations. I still away. have two left. Alright, I'll save my last two. You Fuck come it. to get away from the dragon. <laughs> you understand? It's a dragon. No amount of inspiration. We gotta have a hundred inspiration. It will eat us. So I just I say, um, Oh, this is going to be great. Almighty oh, worm of the sky. Thank you for your assistance. <laughs> its wings are um, kind of folding back into its back. It smashes against the palisade as it moves a little closer to you. One of its wings accidentally topples the entire top of the temple's bell tower. The bell ah! goes crashing to the ground. <laughs> oh, the bell tower. Run out. You see Run the out. bell hit the ground, hit the dirt. I ignore the massive amount of damage it's doing. I'm just like, it's fine. It's <laughs> what? just what collateral it? damage as it moves. It's just it knocking. Arcana to figure out what kind of dragon that is? Um, You could spend your action. Or is it? Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah, dragons yeah, are arcana. arcana. I mean, I speak Draconic, so I have some familiarity. I don't know. I probably have never seen a dragon before. But, uh, I mean, let me know when, I, when it gets to my turn, then, I guess. It's moving closer. You can roll your arcana. I'll do, like, a clumsy sort of uh, bow of in the... Fucking it's a dragon. dragon. <laughs> I, I'll, 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 I'll give do you a this. clumsy bow in you the saddle. You have Draconic. To it. And a 10 mm -hmm. isn't great, but you do know there's two types of gra dragons. The chromatic and the metallic, I believe, are the two different types. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, sure. Um, the chromatic, yeah. if you saw one of those, it might be your last day. Mm -hmm. And the last time you ever see one. The metallic generally aren't like the chromatic. They might be their counterpart. This creature, if it wanted to eat you, it would. 
It bends down close, and its neck kind of stretches out towards the dwarf. Should I eat these creatures? Yes. Its <laughs> eyes dart eyes towards the to one me. that's unconscious right here, and towards the other unconscious body. <laughs> it so looks a little nice. like it uh, darts its eye towards Arthur, too. <laughs> oh, all right. This is the prey instinct. He's running. <laughs> so I, I say, Folk, you're a dragon. You do what you want. <laughs> <laughs> it grins widely at that. It <laughs> understands the truth, and you can see its giant fangs dripping saliva. I, I say, well, I did take pains not to kill the lad there right next to you. I, uh, I am a cleric of life, so I feel like or mayhaps just knocking him shitless would have worked, but really, you do whatever you want to do. I see you wish more than... I, I do. The All-Father has blessed me this day. I never thought I'd live to see one of your type. Then maybe today he has blessed you. There are more of these snakes running around. Let me know when I can start taking pot shots at these guys. <laughs> He's just gonna keep <laughs> shooting them. <laughs> Ignore the dragon speech. Fuck You're having you, archery you. practice. I am uh, doing is... what he wants me to. Okay. His anus is basically <laughs> on your head. He's like sitting on you. You're gonna get one yeah. shot more before they retreat into the uh, forest line. I was gonna say uh, I could move up. <laughs> <laughs> They're on horses. You can't outpace them. <laughs> The dragon he... gets an opportunity attack. Oh, does he actually oh. attack me? No, he doesn't you... attack you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'll get one more attack. And uh, my hunter's mark. Ray Ray, who was that inspiration for? A 13 God. is not enough. I do have an inspiration from last game, mm. so I'll use that now. Oh! <laughs> so your inspirations are not working out today. They're not. Uh, let's see, on a crit fail? It, you uh, accidentally it... shoot the dragon. Oh. <laughs> from behind me? <laughs> that would be like the worst possible thing. Yeah, would that would be. I, I would just look away. I'd be like, hmm. He was one of them. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it just goes wide. Um, you're a little intimidated, and as the wings move, you can hear the crinkling of the leathery skin. You can hear the crashing of the feet in the ground, the shaking of the earth and the dirt. One of the boulders that was in its crater kind of just uh, rolls up and out of the dirt as he crashes near it. <laughs> You should bury it in like a blue jay or something in this tree. <laughs> it's like tweet tweet tweet. tweet. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually thinking of it hitting the tree, but a blue jay in the tree would be better. <laughs> be like I was totally meaning to hit that. Right. A bird flies right into your arrow path. <laughs> so I'm like, you why are they here? The, oh, great one. You can smell the uh, soot and smoky. Um, remnants of his lightning breath off his nostrils <sighs> the why are they here zentarim i don't like their kind i have been hearing stories of them in the sorn coast in the east i think they're here to cause trouble i now, this one here was certainly causing trouble. They put an arrow and, in my gullet. Yeah, I am. I am not looting, but removing all weapons, etc. From Watch all out these for snake. Snake guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and throwing them over in a pile over here, thing at least ten feet away. From me. So I'm gonna put this guy up in a pile. So bring all these guys together, kind of line them up. What happened to Nightstone? Wait, lots of things. First, the giants dropped the rocks and took the important rock, I guess. And then goblins came and we killed the goblins. And then this lot showed up and shot me full of arrows and 
all kinds of fucklery. This town has seen a lot of bad things. Full Golos grabs one of the boulders and its talons. It plucks it up like it's a marble. Uh, giants, you say? Yeah, floating city shit, I don't know. Wait, actually, is is that what she said? Kala, is she the one that gave us that report? No, I was the priest. <laughs> okay. No, it was Kala. We need to... Oh, was it? To... Yeah. But it need was to... um, confirmed by Keep... the guards. Okay. Uh, grain of salt, but it does seem to be true. It throws the boulder behind his back, and you see it launch in there. Gone. It goes past as far as you can see. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, right. (laughs) It's the tree. (laughs) Knocks you right out of the tree. (laughs) I'm going to say, I'm probably more behind it. Being like, ah, uh, this is a good vantage point here. I'm going to stay here, guys. Right. It moves mm-hmm. one step closer in the courtyard. The ground shakes. <sighs> I have more of these creatures to deal with. I understand. Who are the, the Zentarim? The Zentarim. They... Try to think of themselves as protectors of the land. They're just mercenaries, scum. They take what they want to take. They kill who they want to kill. Wait. How will we know when we come across them? Do they have a mark or some sort of symbol? They have a... A sword stuck into the ground with a snake coiled around the sword. That's their symbol. They don't wear it outright. If they did, I'd be able to root them all out. Mm. Mm. He seems very angry. Perhaps you will help us in questioning this one. I believe she knows... Quite a bit. She seemed allied very closely with the leader, who you so delicately barbecued upon arrival. <laughs> I try not I to laugh. Don't make it a habit to play with my food. I. You've Aye. done well here. Is there anyone I should send this way from Waterdeep? Uh, uh I. Pay my family some water deep, but we don't need to worry them right Do now. We ha- is there like a chapter of the order in water deep? You would think there's a order of the gauntlet somewhere in water deep. Yeah, um, that wouldn't be terrible. Uh, uh, yeah. So, I mean, you could send some of our associates down here to help the town rebuild, perhaps. Uh, maybe help the folk here repair some of the damage I look away from the damage that he's causing (laughs) (laughs) he bends his neck really far down towards you and where is the lady Velrosa unfortunately she succumbed to injuries after the boulder was dropped on her head giants she's buried here I we said a few words for her and not an hour people. He says it one more time with even more malice in his voice. Giants. Uh, I take it you don't like them too much. Right, so giants, snakes, bad. I Dragons. will send the order of the gauntlet this way. I, I do have one question for you, good sir. Perhaps before you leave, why did they take the stone in the middle of the town? There was a rock here. That's what they came for. If I find them, I'll pry the answers out of their dying breath. Okay, yeah, do, yeah, okay. That's good. <laughs> I'm sweating profusely as he's so close to me. <laughs> he like reels back up and all its bronze scales, they almost look like they move individually as if you could move your fingers. As they um, 
locked down in kind of a plated position where it's just completely armored from head to toe. It reels its neck and its uh, throat back up, lets out a mighty roar. <clears throat> the order will be known. I'll be back in a while. And he flaps his wings. <laughs> And he takes off into the air. And as he does, it actually, um, roll an animal handling. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> to the Bye. jackass on a horse. <laughs> yep. Nope. The horse bucks you off. You hit the ground. You don't take damage. Oh, you God. roll a few feet backwards. The horse tries to kick you and gallops away towards the moat. Bye, horse. It was good while it lasted. <laughs> and you see full Golos ascend into the sky, casting a shadow. The shadow gets smaller and smaller as it keeps going higher and higher off to the west. And uh, you would know that Waterdeep is to the west. You see him descend oh, from the sky like an eagle. Shit. And then he ascends back into the sky. And if you have a really good eye... Especially Theodore. Anyone with a passive perception over 14 can see he has something plucked in his talons. A humanoid. Oh, I have one of 15. So I'm like, <laughs> oh. And the horse like as well. Oh, by Morden's fiery anvil. He just got somebody on the hoof. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm probably not at the best vantage point with the tree in the way. But, uh, I don't know. He's like am to I able the west, to try to Theodore? He went oh, to the west. To the west? Okay. For some reason, I thought you were saying he went to the east and other places. East. I'm assuming it's one of these guys. But, yeah, it's uh, the one that got away. Probably one of the am ones I able that to, got away. Am I able to try to catch the horse on the way out and try to. Yes. Roll an animal handling. Uh, yeah, you, you step in front of it, it rears back as it gets close. You have to grab the reins. Um, it looks like it's going to try to keep bolting after it rears. And you're able to throw yourself up and onto the horse. And try to calm it down. And calm oh, it down. All in one swift action. Hmm. <clears throat> One of the guards peeks his head out the door. Was was that what I think it was? <laughs> uh, did you not hear him screaming that it was Fogolos? Because that's what I think it was. Uh, I was the mighty beast of the sky. I Fogolos. Never heard of that. Dragon. Well, uh, yeah, probably because most of the people that meet him die horrible, fiery lightning deaths and shit like that. <sighs> he mm. knew the lady. He. I. Yeah. Ah, she, me. she. Speaking of the lady. That lady. I don't know how Kella. long it'll be until she wakes up. An hour. But she and then these two that are. Severely wounded. They are all getting tied to each other. Okay. Tied uh, up. <laughs> actually, Jack, can we tie them separately so they can tend to their wounds? Yes. You could... We... Well, there's a like a prison in the keep. We've, we haven't used it in years. That would be very nice. Make sure, obviously, they don't have anything on them that they could use to escape. I... And... You can roll investigation... Yeah. Let's see. Investigation. So Arthur to do it. Arthur is the one with the peepers. Yeah, but Arthur, Arthur ain't here. I love it. <laughs> he's standing right next to her. Yeah, he's right there. Oh my <laughs> god. See, my perception is so bad. <laughs> the... <laughs> Arthur's right there. Yeah, let me take a shot at investigating here. Uh, yeah, he already did it, so he can have advantage. Wow. Okay. Yay. I t I accept your assistance in investigating. Pew. 
Oh. Sorry, Matt. You give him advantage. Yeah. That's too bad. <laughs> that <laughs> panda. I am. I am. Like the die are, are broken for me, right? <laughs> <laughs> like the dice are just not. I don't understand. Uh, you go through all her personal effects. You do find a couple things like lock picks. I keep saying, "Watch out for the snake! <laughs> Watch out for the snake!" The snake's not on her. Wait, where did where did snake go? She had one crawling creature of weirdness and. You did evil. see one fly through the air and land on well the guy you never got his name. Yeah, it landed on his head. We'll the call man. him Bacon. Bacon, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Toasty bacon. Barbecue. Barbecue. Once I make a quick pass over there, I'm going to go to the room she was claiming. I the now stables? believe that she is up to no good. Yeah, the room in the stables where she was laying on the bed. Okay. You going to investigate in there as well? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and roll it. Well, I'm going to go up to... Uh... Yes. Carmen. <clears throat> 17. The best one so far. You do find a letter that looks like it was hidden under the mattress of the bed. And it doesn't actually say too much. But it does say... We'll be there in a few days, and it's signed Zolkin, X-O-L-K-I-N. And then you see that same symbol that Fulgoros had told you about. The sword with a snake coiled around it. Uh, point down. The sword point down. X-O-L-K-I-N? X-O-L-K-I-N. Snake. Theodore. Uh, I'm mostly just sending my new best friend the horse. Yeah, while you're out there, you do see tracks headed north. Okay. Out to the caves. You see the footsteps of villagers, and you also see smaller footsteps headed north as well, and south. Oh, Both. No. Goblins. Lots of North um, end what you would think are probably goblinoids. Okay. So it might be a good idea to head north, guys, because uh, if there's goblins following the villagers, they could be in danger. Oh, mm -hmm. no. Well, let's lock up her and her friends first. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, see, fellas. I. She said she was sleep staying at the the Ninth Stone Inn. Mm -hmm. I, I found a safe in there that was protected by magic. I'm wondering okay. if we can get it open. Maybe we can... I feel like she's been storing things there. Uh, I, am no, I am no locksmith, lad. I don't think we can open it. Mm -hmm. If we ride with all haste north, mayhaps we can meet up with the uh, innkeeper and he'll know the code. Let's keep that in mind. So I'm just going to make a medicine check to make sure that mortally wounded, any kind of immediate help to not die, I want to give it to him. Okay. So, yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, I'm, I'm skilled. Yeah, everyone yeah. here, she has a broken collarbone. She'll live. Her okay. face is a little messed up. Um, the people that got hit by the lightning surge of the dragon, gone. You don't even yeah, have to go sure. over there. You can smell the yeah, I don't, burnt flesh I don't and bones there. even. Some of the bones are melted. Mostly her and the guy whose leg that I... They will live. Cool. This They're guy, I make sure he's tied up first because he's going to wake up soon when the spell lapses. So I make sure he's good and trussed yeah, the up. Yeah, Dukat already got him all tied up. Okay. Uh, the horse wakes up. Right. <laughs> oh, I'll tend oh. to that horse, too. Yeah, you should. We should have. 
I'm, hmm. I'm collecting horses over here. Okay. How many do we have? Two. <laughs> Two horses. <laughs> Great. We can uh, double up. Maybe we can borrow some from the caravan now that he's here. I feel like maybe he'll... Um, Herschel will let us have one or two. I think that we should gog them in case they cast magic spells. I would think if they would cast magic spells, they would have not used crossbows. Ah, you're a smart woman. I do think <laughs> that she has the possibility. I when we gag the wench. Mm, yeah, put her under actual guard, not just tossed in the cell. Jock, you should muster the townsfolk to put them in the cells. We ride off after the goblins that are chasing other townsfolk. On guardsies. Minutes count, mayhap. Well, well, the guards were up here in the chapel. I think they can grab him and bring him to the keep. Aye. Especially uh, shit Lieutenant Torum. <laughs> Torum, a new asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Did the dragon say he was be back soon? Uh, he said he did say he was going to come back. Do we want to wait around for him? No. Or do Water we want to? Waterdeep is a hike. Um, I... So I think we need to go the try. The cave's to only about an hour cave. north. But you know what I will do? Maybe right here in the middle, um, in Draconic. Um. Is that like dirt or pavement? Where? The main square. Uh, it's cobble. So with some chalk, I'm going to write in Draconic. Um, uh, dripping caves one mile north. Okay. In huge, huge Draconic letters. Okay. So if he comes back and he wants to. Yeah, he can find us. Got it. Nice. Oh, hey, got another inspiration. Yeah. And then I think we should get moving. I. So you all so had doubled up on the horses towards the dripping caves. Right. Yep. Okay. With all haste. With all haste. How y'all feeling? Sore. Pretty good. I'm hurt, man. But I'm all right. Like, I can I use medicine to pull the arrow out of my guts without <laughs> causing more damage? <laughs> Didn't you heal yourself? I did. I healed myself. So point, yeah. the way I rule it is as you heal yourself, you are able to extrapolate those things that have um, extract. Yep. Extract. <laughs> Thank you. Extract the uh, foreign objects that shouldn't be in your body, shouldn't be lodged okay. in your gut. And the magic, <laughs> the healing kind of pulls and pushes those things out first. Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not golden, but I'm like, tarnished bronze or something. I'm okay. Okay. I have 10 hit points. <clears throat> All right. Let's see if we can save some people. We did, with the help of a dragon, successfully repel one raid. Two raids, really. So we got rid of the goblins. Then we got rid of the snake Zentarim. Now we need to get the people back here. I... Oof. Long day. It's been a very fucking busy day. <laughs> True. <sighs> All right. You guys start heading north towards the Dripping Caves. You have a makeshift map, which should be enough. And you ride off. Who's going on what horse? I figure me and Arthur would go on the sleepo. Okay. Yep, there you okay. go. And that'll leave so, uh, uh, the woodsman and Carmen. So I say, uh, woodsman, listen, yes. if we come across any goblins, I'm going to drop you off and ride into the middle of them. <laughs> Are you sure that's a good idea? <laughs> I. 
Okay, then. Okay. Would you like me to drive the horse until then? Aye. And I'll hop off? Yeah. Okay. Aye, better with the beast than I am. All right, now that we've got our um, order. Good talk. Yeah, did you yes, guys want to do talk. anything else before you leave? I'm under the horse. <laughs> Let's see, we gave. They took the prisoners, left a message saying we'll be back, yada, yada, yada. Uh, I tell the priest, raise the drawbridge when we're gone. Don't, oh, I can't raise anymore, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's busted. I don't say that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. I guess that's it. Okay. And you head off towards the dripping caves. Um there is some tracks outside of Nightstone, Theodore. Uh -huh. If you want to track them by that or if you want to just go by the map. Uh, I'll probably follow the tracks when I can. Okay. Give me a survival roll as you're heading north, out of the city. It's not very far away. It shouldn't take you long to get there. It's a 15. 15. 15 is good. You see another set of tracks that joined up with the smaller sets from the east. Now, you're headed almost straight north out of Nightstone. Mm -hmm. 15. Mm, let me double check if that's enough. Oh, I thought you were telling me 15 tracks. I was going to be like off. All right, yeah. 15 is actually enough. You see some very large, what you would believe are ogre tracks. Oh no! Oh, oh! Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, <laughs> these are, these are some cursed. And it looks like the <laughs> ogre the tracks meet up curses? with the goblin tracks. I don't know the what goblins they did. have an ogre with them. Morden must hate these people. <laughs> oh my god! Well, yeah, it doesn't I'm look like double. one set of tracks. Not one ogres. ogre. It looks like more than there? one. Oh my god. More than one ogre. <laughs> All right, Fucking let's move. hell. So. By uh, fiery rings, this is a bad thing. What the fuck are we going to do? These not sure people are going to die. I've never fought an ogre before. Is it fast? It is a I'm giant of nature. Mm. I have. They would run with their oh, so ogre legs like the You might wind. know a little about it. Yeah, I was going to say, I do have a feature that gives me uh, advantage on intelligence checks to recall information about them. Intelligence checks. Go ahead and give me a nature, I would suppose. Nature. Oh, oh. Snap. <laughs> So a natural 20. Uh -huh. Um. Critical well, success. for one, you would know that generally ogres don't like to group up with other kinds of creatures. Usually, they are of actual giant um, class, I guess, race, however you'd want uh -huh. to say it. Genus. Genus. They are easy to anger, quick to fight and stupid as all hell they uproot trees and use them as weapons they use creatures as weapons if they killed a human they might use that as a weapon oh that was a good one that's really all there is to them they eat and they eat and they eat I was more concerned like if they can outrun a horse or a person <laughs> <laughs> They're fast. They probably not much in the world outruns a horse if it's on two legs. Most um, horses should outrun almost all two-legged creatures. So maybe we could kite them. Yeah, they don't have something to throw. Well, maybe have... we just avoid oh. them all together. What is it? Doom all the townsfolk to death? No, 
Maybe they're not even with the townsfolk. It's too bad that dragon's not around. We could have uh, sent him angrily over there to deal with the I... ogre. I... Well, mayhaps we can draw them off. If we make them angry, maybe they'll chase us and draw them away from the villagers, at the very least. True. So you are talking about this as you're heading more and more towards the caves. Oh, I think I'll rethink my earlier strategy. Agreed. I'll be staying on the horse. Okay. Give me a perception check as you're getting nearer. You're still kind of in more of the forested, thicketed area. Um, the underbrush is growing up pretty densely. The trees are more dense. Holy crap. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Finally seized something. <laughs> 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 you do as a group succeed in the trees you see some of the underbrush which is tall shuffling ahead as if something's walking through loudly and not trying to be quiet I, psh, woodsman look there something stirs in the underbrush and the overbrush too it's about Just... noon right now had a long day for noon. <laughs> it has been a long day. You guys have not stopped. Just go, go, go. I'm tired. The creature, now that you all stop and hush, is definitely moving through the brush loudly and towards you. Towards us. Towards you. Oh, fuck. Can we tell Just what it is? Back around. Right, let's get out of its path. Yeah, let's move out of the path and see if it follows us. Okay. It's moving southeast. And so we'd want to go. Are you all going to try to exactly. hide or are you just moving? Uh, I am so like good at hiding. Bad. I kind of hide very well. I mean, a failure to hide is just staying in sight, correct? Correct. It's so not dark. Might as well. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to pull the horse into a, uh, an area where I think it's a little bit more covered, so that we're less likely to be seen. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Go ahead Hunker and roll down. your stealth. I I totally hide behind the horse. Arthur ass. and Jacquard, what are you doing? I'm hoping that Jakad follows suit. <laughs> All right. You gotta hide now, sir. So, so I, I guess I will also attempt to hide a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Some bullshit. Whatever. I'm a god at it. <laughs> yeah, me and you rolled really well for having a negative. <laughs> it's, it's not actually dex based. You will succeed. And you pull the horses into more of a thicketed area. And you see the creature come crashing through the brush. Followed by another creature. Which is um, a little bit smaller than... It's definitely an ogre. And maybe a baby ogre? But they look almost like they're... Humanoid size, and they have adult features. They don't look like uh, baby features on this creature. And it's almost kind of skipping from one foot to one foot, and under its big, fat, grotesque arm, it has a pig that's fatter than any pig you've ever seen. And it's squeezing it, and the pig's eyes are kind of bulging out from its head as it's squeezing oh, it and God. skipping across the ground. And it's going, Boon for God! Boon for God! Food, 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 food for God. And the I other creature is just kind of jogging to keep up with this pace. I momentarily imagine myself in the pig's position and shudder. <laughs> and it's passing not far away from you. 
and it's not actively looking around or perceiving its surroundings and you feel pretty safe from where you're at and it continues skipping through the underbrush food for go food for go it's not going towards the town is it it's going southeast it's not a direct line to the town no okay Hmm. We told him. Oh, no, I don't. Hopefully. Just let him through. Yep. Yes. And it continues on. Food for God. Food for God. I mean, and it starts going laughing. in a straight line. Yeah, it's not a hundred percent straight line, but yeah, it's going in that same general direction. If it go- keeps going in that direction, how close to the town? That's close enough to see it. Well, the, the caves were only a mile away. So, yes. Not only that, but when you turn back around towards the town, what's the one thing you're going to see? Keep. A smoking, oh, yeah. billowy cloud where you burnt down the Nightstone Inn. Fuck. Mm. So, what do you think? And it crashes back into the brush. It's kind of trailing off. And you hear the... Oh, It sounds peaceful enough right now. I suggest we just keep moving towards the dripping caves. Let's make heist. We'll run to the caves, see if the town folk are all right, and then run back to the keep. If we're fast, mayhap we can get back. At the same time, the ogre gets there if he's, uh, you know, hungrier than one pig will solve. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think, Jock? I agree. I think we need to get to folks in the camp first. So we'll continue on to the dripping cave. All right. These, well, this forest and this area is made up a lot of, made up of a lot of rolling hills. And there's some very large hills and small hills. The caves are a tunnel system built mainly into one of the larger hills and when you get closer you can see the hill on the map um this has to be the place you see a wide clearing out in the open of this hill where there is a tunnel built into it and you don't see any creatures outside you don't see any activity outside but you do see the main entrance there are tracks outside. Um, well, you're still following the tracks. But still you haven't gotten away. close enough to like see all the tracks, right? Like to see if there's like a mass going in or out. But you've you've been following humanoid tracks and goblinoid tracks and ogre tracks. Well, I know where the ogre tracks came from. Uh, I'm more concerned about the goblin and the humanoid. See if at some point, we lose the humanoid or lose the goblin. No, they're all converging into this path. Oh, uh, fuck. Okay, it looks like... Looks like we're here. Mm-hmm. Hop off the horse. And... Right. Head on down. Okay. I'll do the same. How dark is it in there? Um... As you get closer to this cave entrance, the entrance is like a big gash in the side of the hill, uh, diagonal slash, and it's dark in the opening. There's no light sources coming from the opening. Can you even see into the dark? I doors are good at seeing under the ground, but if there were people here, humans can't. Wouldn't they have torches lit? Mm, something stinks. I don't like it. I equip my shield and pull out my hammer. Okay. I'm going to tie right. up the horses a little bit of ways away from the entrance to the cave so that hopefully it's not in a spot where if goblins came out or in, they would see them. I touch the top of my quarter staff and cast a light on it. Okay. I hey, fuck. If you do that, everything's going to know we're coming. Hmm. I can't see in the dark. Well, mayhap it can't be helped then. 
All right. I guess in we Shall go. Hi. Woodsman, when you look down at the ground, do the ogre tracks go inside? Do we got the pair of ogre tracks going inside? And are you sure it's just a pair? You're not sure if it's just a pair or not because there's tracks going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. It's heavy traffic, but is anything super fresh? Mm. It's... Roll your survival. Let's see. You think there are fresh tracks, at least of the creature you just saw pass you? That ogre and whatever, that ogre baby, ogre child. Those so are probably fresh like tracks from the cave, you think. Okay. So yeah, the only fresh one fresh tracks I see are the ogre leaving the cave. Which means bad news for these people if they came into a cave that an ogre came from. I think the good thing is is that it was only carrying a pig. Uh, people. Uh, excuse me, why did you stop mid-sentence? <laughs> uh, I said mayhap it ate the people already. Do you remember if you saw blood on its mouth? Uh, I wasn't looking that close. There's a lot of shit on its mouth, really. I, uh, that's ogres. Dis that's disgusting. They're disgusting creatures. There's only one way to find out. Let's keep pressing forward. Aye, we go in. All right, so you all head towards the main entrance. I'm going to stand uh, behind Jakad because he's the bulkiest. I'm only using my light source to kind of just guide myself through the tunnel. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that the light doesn't shine down so far since his big back is blocking it okay cool uh as we enter i'm gonna use good berry uh so i got 10 berries i'll give three to the priest uh three to the paladin and two for each of me and the wizard okay you have to eat them yourself to get the benefit you can't like I force can't, feed like... a berry to someone Ram it up somebody's yep. nose. Nope. But I figured at least somebody will have it on them so that if somebody does go down, mm -hmm. it's easy for them to be like, feed them a berry. No, you, you have to feed yourself a berry. Oh, use it to action to eat one berry. Eating a berry restores. Okay. It doesn't so work just... where you can force feed someone a berry. I'm just going to eat my three berries now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hit point of berry, right? <laughs> yep. I guess I'm I'll hurt. give. I guess I'll give all 10 to you. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks, man. That was super sweet. <laughs> nice. That's not a bad I, idea. I feel much better. Thank you. You're welcome. So, uh, You're also thanks. fed for like five days. No shit. I'm full forever. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Woodsman. You're welcome. I was, I was feeling a mite bit sore still, but that goes a long way to restore my vigor. So you... Cast light on your staff, Arthur? Yes. Okay. And you're behind Jakad. I'm assuming Carmen's in front of Theodore. Mm. Yeah, we'll we'll do that. I'll go in front of Theodore. You can shoot over my shoulder. It's easy. I'm short. So I whisper back to uh to Theodore, I say. Uh, if they come at us, fall back and shoot over my head. I'll hold the line. Sounds good. Okay. Do you see the map? Nope. Yep. Should I zoom out or zoom in? Or... Are you just seeing black? Uh, oh, there we go. 
at I the bottom now. Right. Uh, oh, wait. Right. Okay, there we go. Now I got it. How we should now? be able to see a little farther. Oh, what? I just lost it. That was weird. Okay, no, I got it. Okay. And the light spell, can you link that for me, Arthur? Yeah. I think it's 20 feet of bright and 20 feet of dim. Yeah, something like that. But I'll, I'll put it up here. But uh, I should be able to see 60 feet. Give me a perception check as you get towards the mouth of the cavern. All right, 17, 20, 15, 13. It's not bad. Who am I missing, Jacob? Uh, Yeah. He's muted for some reason. She uses passive as straight up 10. Okay. So that'll be a success. I mean, there's some noises you can hear. You hear slopping as if someone is... Pouring a big bowl of porridge or something. It's just nasty sounding slop and plopping and a little bit oh, of bubbling. Good. You hear in the background a little bit of chittering, but that is good enough to understand that it's actually talking and it's goblinoid. Fuck. Well, there goes that town. I'm just getting the general radius first. Let's not assume that the town is gone. Maybe there deeper may in the cave is a safer area. There may be survivors. Sometimes the farmer doesn't eat all the... There we go. That's probably good. And you see at the edge of the light over here a creature's arm splash into a big puddle of mud and you see a gout of mud fly up in the air like a water spout it looks like it's wallowing in the mud and having a lot of fun right now over here did you say over here okay oh fuck that's a big arm was that a big arm or was it just like a goblin arm uh, it was a big arm. Ooh. That's, a, that's an ogre arm. What do you think? Should we continue? Aye. Perhaps we can sneak past it. <laughs> Not with your light spell. I take away light. <laughs> light disappears. You can no longer see inside the cave. And I grab a hold of Jakad. You grab a so hold of Jakad. I can still see, though, right? You and Theodore can see. What's Theodore? Are you an elf? He's a shifter. Uh, shifter. Oh, you're a shifter, right? I was been. I don't. I'm shite for sneaking. Usually, I'm not sure this is a good idea, but uh, I think we have to go and make sure that all the town dead and eaten. Or rescue what we can. Agreed. I think there's going to be a fight. Agreed. Ready, <laughs> re 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 ready yourselves. Okay. Should we try sneaking? I nothing to be lost, I guess. I'll try to sneak. Follow my lead, mage. Uh, and let's see how bad I bunk this up. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use an inspiration. Boom. Sure. I uh, broke my computer. <laughs> oh, it didn't roll the second one for some reason. Let me roll again. Um... There we go. They're all coming in at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. My first one was a 17. So I rolled a 4 and then a 4, I guess. That was a great inspiration. 
Uh-huh. Cool. So you yeah. are sneaking in. Where are you going? I was ah, thinking we're going to yeah. follow this corner. Yeah, I'm going to go like this way. Okay. Over in that direction. I think we're trying to like... God's still there? I haven't heard from him yet. Maybe he's supposed to be your him. bodyguard. <laughs> yes. Yep. Consider yourself unguarded. Do we see anything over here with the dark vision? Yeah. There we go. Jakarta, are you here? I don't think he is. Nope. Last thing I saw was muted, and then... Oh, did he say he was going to mute himself? Yeah, he said he said muted up up above in the chat at some point. He's probably dealing with something. Mm -hmm. On I'll roll a ledge up above, you see a goblin who's supposed to be a lookout. He's got his legs kicked over the side of the ledge, and he looks like he's just kind of dazed, staring out into the distance nowhere, really. And he's not looking at motion? you. Can I make motions at uh, the dwarf to be like, should I take him out? I nod my head. Uh, you <laughs> give him the motion, like point at your eyes, point at the goblin. Mm -hmm. Draw an arrow. Yep. I give him the thumbs up. And let's hope this is good. Well, he, he hit him. But he's probably screaming about it right about now. Mm -hmm. And we should wait for Jakob before we all roll initiative. We should wait for Jakob before we all roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> because you do hit it. And it goes... Yeah! And it stands up on the ledge. Well, and you I have hear more you. noises in here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, if we roll initiative and uh, Alex rolls at the top, could he hit it with an arrow and then hit it with another arrow while it's clearing surprise? You know what I mean? I Technically, I should have you roll initiative when you're attacking. Sure. That makes All sense. All the time. Every time, because that way you run into surprise rounds. So we'll mm -hmm. roll initiative, and that'll be Alex's action. And whether he goes first or last, other people can hold until he shoots. Make sense? Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let's uh, let's roll initiative. And mm -hmm. it is dark in here. Although I will say that I'm pretty sure the. Uh... The goblin was surprised. <laughs> yeah. He, you he definitely got a surprise round. Brian, are you here? I am here. Okay. Nice. nice. Welcome back. Welcome back. Everything good? Everything good. And look, I go last. So that's good. Oh, that's right. Initiative. Let me... I actually didn't do it. I actually rolled an eight. I'm just going to have you roll your or add your own initiative then. Uh, I can't add my name. Oh, there we go. Yep, I got an 11. So not horrible. Oop. My yada yada. Son of a... Yes, this is about to get gnarly. And what was I doing? Oh, that's what I was doing. I was going to give them a turn. Yep. My, or the, we have... We went into the caves and there are... You went into the caves, so, Arthur put I'm out the light, mm -hmm. and you guys saw a goblin hanging its little legs over the ledge up in the northeast corner. Can you so, see in the dark, man? Arthur's taking a shot. No. Theodore's taking I'm a shot. Taking... So on the way here, uh, if you weren't around for that part, we ran into a couple of others walking back towards the town with a fat pig. Yep, saw that. Uh, okay. We hid. Yeah, we hid. The ogres went by. Uh, we tried to rush here so we can get here and back. Um, on the way here, 
we saw a bunch of tracks. We followed them into the caves, which are dark. Uh, I commented that people would probably have torches lit. And that's not what's going on. And there's a bunch of these guys inside the, the mm. cave. So we're going to go see if there's any survivors in here. Okay. Amazingly, Dude, the ogre, ogre is on it. Splashing in the mud, bathing in the mud. It looks like it's kind of doing a, a fake backstroke where it's not actually moving anywhere, but it's just throwing its big, fat, meaty arm back. And it goes, huh? Raises up a little. Clears surprise. <laughs> Theodore looses oh. an arrow. Thump. Hits the goblin. It jumps up and shrieks. Ah! Everything else is alerted. Carmen. Okay, I am going to move around here between the ogre and Theodore. And I say, fuck, 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 fuck. And I hold my shield up and ready my action. So the first thing that moves into melee range gets a hammer. Okay. I say, Jock, hold the line. The goblin <laughs> <It's not> <laughs> clear surprise. <laughs> Arthur. Actually, wait a second. 5, 10, 15, 20. No, that's not what I... Uh, oh, yeah, fuck it. That's what I do. I already said it. It's good. We're going. Take the dodge action? Nope. I ready my <laughs> hammer. I said I did it, so I do it. Um, it doesn't take an action to ready your hammer, though, does it? Yeah, it does. It takes my action to ready an action. Or oh, what I do instead gotcha. of taking an action is I burn my reaction and ready my... my action basically and i can't see any i can't see anything right right you can't see anything uh i stay pinned against the wall and uh i'll ready my ass boy they know we're here you might as well cast light (laughs) jacob you could move yourself up in front of arthur as you had stated you wanted to be his shield uh i will i will Touch Jakad's armor <laughs> and oh, cast light. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so much we friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you are that lit happened. up. You'll be our light today, Jakad. <laughs> and you're now I glowing brightly. <laughs> Is that 30, 60, or 20, 40 again? 20, 40. Okay. And the reason, you know, just because. I want to be able to know where I'm shooting because I'm going to be shooting too because I am going to be doing ranged attacks, obviously. Okay. You did that, Jacquard. You are now a beacon, a glowing lantern. They can obviously in the dark anyway, so. <laughs> it's mm. just for me. What you doing, right. Jacquard? Well, I am I'm going to step up just one mm-hmm. and I'm going to cast heroism on myself if I can find where it is. Spells. You should link it. You should link heroism. Uh, pink Use my slot. There we go. Oh, nice. So, so assuming I keep concentration, I will re- start regenning hit points. And that way, I can stay up a little bit longer and still give uh, the disadvantage to attacks against you if I need to. Oh, sweet. Assuming that I don't just get popped, lose concentration, and then get Neither benefit. <laughs> I mean, it's an ogre. We could all eat shit. So you are immune to being frightened, and you gain temporary hit points. Yep. Every turn. every turn, I get uh, three temporary hit turn hit points. Hit points. Got it. That was your um, does turn. Does count immediately? It does begin right now. Spell ends. Yep. All right. So I'll give myself plus three temporary. Oh, no, wait a minute. It's at the start of each of its turns. At the start of each of your turns. So no, it doesn't start now. It starts next turn. 
Okay. I've never even seen this one. Nope, I've never. The, one of the reasons I went with for it is because, oh, bravery as a spell. Never seen it. <laughs> yeah. It could be awful. Well, we'll see. Well, I'm lit up and heroic. You are lit up and heroic. The ogre stands up out of the mud and it towers out of the mud. It was wading in it. It was wallowing in it. And as it stands up, it's a very large beast, at least about 12 feet tall. It's got mud dripping down its sides and its arms and its fingertips. It looks very angry. And it pulls something out of the mud, a big club Ugh. that's also dripping with mud as it rushes forward. Oh, hey, no fair. <laughs> and we're going to roll to see who attacks. You are very lit up, but it also really looks at the dwarf with disgust. So odds is you. Odds is who? You. Odds is me? It rushes Yay. towards the first source. Yeah, they think dwarves are tasty. So. <laughs> they especially and like eating dwarves. They can move 40, so. It splashes through the mud loudly and swings the club in a, ba a big, great swing of a bat. Thump, as it tries to knock you out. Mm. No whammy, no whammy. I don't no flinch. Whammy. I stare down. Stop. The club, and boy, do I regret it. <laughs> God. That is so bad. He rolled two eights. He one-shot me. <laughs> Did he really? Is that yep. it? Yeah, I've got the heroism. Well, I don't die-die, but I've got the heroism feet, so I don't even flinch or cower or anything. And I just stare right at him <laughs> as he... How many instant. points do you have? I had 15 out of 20. Oh no! And so it does twenty, and I'm just bow gone. <laughs> you know what's great is I have, I'm out of healing. <laughs> Eat those cranberries. <laughs> I, I I can't feed them to you. No, we're not you allowed. Can eat them for your, you can feed them to each other, or you can use them for yourselves. I, already, I ate all ten. So. Oh, never mind. I missed that part. Yeah, sorry. The ogre comes over, takes a big giant swing, and in one shot. I Put assume Chikot my concentration is dropped. <laughs> well, you go unconscious, it is. Okay. <laughs> Which you go unconscious. Thump, yes. You see Jakad's body slam against the cave wall. <clears throat> and he slumps to the ground. Oh, fuck. So, how does medicine work with stabilizing people? Oh, no, I could spare the dying. Never mind. You could spare the dying as an action. Yep. Okay. That was a oh. its turn, Theodore. Wait, didn't the oh, guys already all prize? Yeah. Oh, when he comes into melee range, I'm gonna smack him because that's what I held my action for. Oh yeah, he's in range. Give him a good old smack. But um, smack a Rooney. I hit him for seven. Seventeen is a hit. You deal seven damage as he levels your friend in one shot. <laughs> smash his kneecap as he destroys my friend. That was so bad. <laughs> that was so bad. Double eights is horrible. At least he didn't crit. If he would crit, then that would have been death. Yeah, he would have died. Yeah. Died, died. Yep. No, because yep. um, it would only have been the dice or double. 36 damage. He's at 10. It would have killed him. He was at 15. Yeah, it would have killed him. 15? Yeah. Yeah, it still would have killed him. Yeah, it would have killed him. Barely. <laughs> That would have been so, I'm going to shift. <laughs> what is that? So I get four temper. Uh, here, I'll just link it. It's pretty cool, actually. Oh, it doesn't actually show it. Shifting. Swift stride. Oh, oh, that's weird. Not. Theodore O'Quinn Wraith Swift stride. So yeah, uh, as a bonus action, I. Uh, become more beastly appearance. Okay. Uh, transformation lasts for a minute until you die or until you revert back to your normal form as a bonus action. When you shift, you gain temporary hit points equal to your level plus your con mod, uh -huh. which is going to be currently uh, four temporary hit points. That's probably good. 
Uh, I also get a benefit of my shifter race, which is uh, 10 speed of 10 movement speed. So I now have a movement speed of 40. Okay. And I will shoot and move back 40 feet. Oh, really? <laughs> you go outside? Okay. Okay. You shoot. Thump, and you move 40 feet off the map. Uh, let's see. Bam. Okay. That's good. 10 damage. Which one are you hitting? Uh, the ogre. The ogre. You shoot the ogre for 10 damage. It bounces off its thick skin and takes 10 damage. Ding! It screams. I made it angry. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> there is now a Bye. man laying on the ground emitting bright light. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna use my corpse as a bat. Go no, ahead, Carmen. Oh, <laughs> um. Okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna hit him again. I'm like, drop the ogre. Do it now. Not gonna spare the dying. Not yet. No, I don't hit him. You wait. I use an inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> that was the time. Yep. You have them saved up for a reason, and that is a hit. So I do seven more damage. You I slam smash it, the creature with seven more damage. It's enraged. It's upset. It screams in your face. It looks like it's reaching down for Jacquard. Oh no! It is gonna hit me with him. Go ahead. Oh, they're going to take a few shots at you. One, two, three. Oof. TPK. TPK. Putting those berries to good use, I tell you. <laughs> no kidding. The goblins were a little surprised, but the third goblin managed to land an amazing shot. Your shield's not quite enough. It goes right over the shield and poof. Take six piercing damage. Take three. Take three piercing damage. Okay. I grunt. Ugh. <laughs> and I'm going to play shot. one of the NPCs that you find <laughs> up in the <Five>. cave. <laughs> if any of us live. The fourth goblin misses you. That was their turn. Arthur. Carmen, get your caught and run out. And I ready my action to cast sleep on the ogre as soon as Carmen is chicot out of the way. So oh, yeah. sleep will only do up to a certain amount of hit points. They're like it won't, it won't put it, it won't put into sleep. It may or it may not. If you have you to hurt sleep first. over here. You'll sleep He's those hurt. Two goblins. He's taking damage. Uh, yeah. If you rolled like a god and you got your 26 last time. Not yeah. quite a god, but pretty good. They he have more than double that. 26 or lower when it, mm. when it works. We're just trying to help you with the rules of it because you've never played a caster. Sleep is a, a. If you put it over most here, saber suck spell. Sleep yeah. is really good against lower level creatures, um, creatures yeah. with not many hit points. Okay. If you put it over here, you can get both those goblins. I think areas. Josh is pinging over there. Once yeah, or twice, right. or 500 times. All right, so I'll cast it. <laughs> but they have to be hurt first, and they have taken They do not damage. have to be hurt. This guy is They have hurt. to have a certain amount of hit points. Well, then I'm going to cast Sleep over there. Okay, in a 20-foot radius. So that would hit both of them. If I can get to my spell. So go ahead and roll 5d8. Or just click on that 5d8 thing and it'll roll for you. Yeah. Yep. So 19. One of the goblins already took four. They both fall asleep. Instantly. This guy slumps back against the wall. And this one you see disappear from sight. Because you can only see him when he peeked his head up above the cliff edge. 
All right, Arthur. That was you, Jakad. Go ahead and uh, give me a death save. You can either roll it or you can whisper it to me. Up to you. Did it work? Nope. Okay. Uh, let's try again. It's like slash GM roll space one. Yeah, I think GM he's the one that told you that. Space. Yeah. I have some experience with this. While he's doing that, go ahead. Go. Right. Oh, it's back to the top. Ogre. The ogre picks up the light source and throws it at Arthur. Oh, no. <laughs> What's your AC, Arthur? 15. Uh, I don't have a throw human body option, so just ignore the jab. <laughs> <laughs> and it won't be quite as much damage. But he's going to hit you with him. Because it won't be piercing. Because it won't be a jab. The <laughs> spike goes in your eye. A D4 plus strength mod, so D4 plus 4. It's going to be seven damage to Arthur. Ooh. Uh, Jakad, you fail a death save. Okay. Go ahead. Actually, will it move? No, it won't move. It likes sitting in the mud. It doesn't have to move. It doesn't have to move. Theodore? Okay, so I'm going to shoot the ogre again. All right. That is a hit for four piercing damage. You actually managed to lodge an arrow into its calf. It screams violently. And I'll make sure to stay at least 45 feet away. And I'll yell out in giant, <laughs> hey, you stupid, come over here. Do, do you, you have extra damage, damage to these? Nope. Mm, you don't okay. have favorite enemy? Uh, I believe that's like a level three or level five thing. Uh, really? Favorite en I have favorite enemies, but it uh, only gives benefits to tracking, studying. Yeah, the, the favorite enemy of the base ranger is not... That good? It's not the 3.5 or the revised ranger. Mm, okay. Cool. Next. Carmen. Okay. So, can I reach back and touch Jakad? Um, yeah, he's technically not in Arthur's space. Okay. I'll reach back and spare the dying on him. Okay. Take a five foot step over between the ogre and everybody else. Start to chant a Dwarven battle hymn. In Dwarven, and I smash my hammer again. Egg him on. You egg him on. So you stabilize me? I stabilize you. But not put not you to one. It just makes you not die. So I, you're stable now. Should I just fill out my successes, basically? Basically. Basically. Uh -huh. Then I'm nine miles. Whatever Dorvin sound like. And rolled ahead. The ogre. Screwing a battle champ. Oh, spare the dying was an action. Do you get an attack or no? I don't. I'm not oh, going yeah, to attack right. him. Sorry. I'm just smashing my hammer into my shield as I call out a Dorvin battle chant. As the goblins go to attack you. There's only one of them. Two of them attacking you now. Yep. I thought one was... Oh, there's two back there. Okay. Yep. They both shoot little arrows at... Pew, pew. At nothing, apparently. <laughs> the arrows just keep going wide. Ting, ting, ting. You hear the arrows clattering oh. off the wall. Ting, 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 ting. That was um, the, the goblins. bothering them. Go ahead, Arthur. Firebolt. Firebolt. 
Because that's the only thing I can do until I get a long rest. I mean, I'm out of stuff too. But that is a hit. A 19 hits the ogre. Nice. For nine fire damage. Sweet. It singes its skin. You can see some parts retracting and shriveling and... It looks <laughs> upset. It looks really upset. Jakad, you don't have to roll a death save. It wields the club against you now, Dwarf Man. Yes. Dwarf I Man. I understand. I'm ready. It smashes right. against your armor. <clears throat> and it drives you to the wall with a loud thud. You manage to stave off the insanely high amount of damage it would have done to you. I like throw my shield up. Like, wow. One of the spikes pierces the top part of your shield frame. Thump. Of its club. Go ahead, Theodore. Oh, I, like, I like that shield. To start your shield. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, here. That is a hit. So, 24 for 10 more piercing damage. And uh, it's not moving, so neither will I keep that 45 feet distance. It's not moving, but it looks mad. Carmen. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm going to... Again, I'm just working the same knee over. You're cutting out real hard for me, Josh. Can you hear me now? You just, yeah. Okay. He's like, I'm going to, I'm just working the over oh, again. Same knee. Yeah, I'm just going to smash his same knee over and over again for nine points of damage into that same kneecap. Spow. You smash his kneecap. He looks really hurt. You break the knee. His legs bend back slightly in the mud. And it has one goal, just to kill you. Yep. The goblins continue shooting at the thing they can see. Actually, one of them's going to shoot Arthur over here. They didn't like the sight of that fire. So first, bad. Arthur. That is a miss. You have a 15 AC, right, with Mage Armor? Yep, 15 still. The other one shoots at Carmen. And misses. You throw your shield up in the way again. Spew. It is your turn, Arthur. Firebolt. Firebolt. To the ogre. 17 to hit. Finish him. Uh, it hits him and his flesh starts on fire and Flames start to consume him, and he drops to his knees, and all the air is sucked out of his body. Well, that's nasty. He falls into the mud. The air is sucked out. The fire gouts around him, and he shrivels up into the mud, a pile of burning flesh. One of the goblins shrieks. And, uh disappears he jumps mm -mm. Nope. This, this goblin moves over here to get a better shot at you technically he doesn't leave yet but that's what he's doing he's trying to leave right on his turn he's gonna run theodore oh right because you got uh i move up let's see i was 45 feet from him so I could get to five feet from him, so I could get right about there. Is I can good enough to get a line on the goblin? Uh, on the far goblin here. This one. The far one. It's a ten foot ledge here, so you couldn't actually. You need to get a little further in, like around there, to get a shot at this guy. Or okay. this guy. Do I have a shot at this one? No. No. Okay. Uh, let's see. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to unfortunately double move, so I'll go ten twenty. That's the one problem when you move forty away. <laughs> yep. I'll take cover behind these areas and see what I see there. Hit the dirt. Okay, you see uh, a little more of this area. And you can see inside this cluster of stalagmites. Yes, mites. Is might come up and type go down? I forget. Yes, mites go up. Okay. Mighty mites. Actually, yeah. I'll, I'll, can I sneak in between the two? So sure. get cover there? You can get yeah. cover there, for sure. Okay. And... Carmen. Okay. Can I tell this guy wants to run? Yeah. That's <laughs> what they're planning on doing. He's like waving a flag. He's do or he's doing the yes, sound like the headshot five, speed up and Scooby Doo run in twenty. Place. If I if I go to here, can I hit him? Can I throw him in my Yes. Hand axe? He's still over the edge. He was getting a good shot on you, so there would be no cover. 15, 20. Actually, I'm going to stay right here so I don't provoke an attack from the guy. Uh, you'll have okay. to move up. Because it's not... Well, it's 10 feet high, too. So. 5, 10, 15... Tw oh, okay, so I have to move another one? Yeah. I have to go here to get to him? Well, what's your range? 20, 60, I think. So you could I'll do look. it, but it would be far range if you want to stay back. I don't want He's to. He's 10 feet up, so I don't think you'd get an attack of opportunity anyway. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, this I guy, run he's here. 10 feet up. You're not going to okay. provoke. Yeah. I run here then, and I just throw an axe at that guy. Slap a blap. Okay. So I'm like, no, you don't. Did it do it? It oh. did it as your axe nope. flies off into the cave somewhere. <laughs> Ready? Oh, you inspiration? Inspiration. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, that was it. A clean shot. The axe buries itself in the goblin's head. Thump. No, you don't, you ugly fuck. Next, goblin. Well, he's going to come up here and get a good shot at you. He yeah, aims right down on your head. Shield over my head. Is 16 enough? Nope. I'm going to use my inspiration. Go for it. Oh, Definitely no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a me. I'm going to use my inspiration. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh, Kid, my nope. God. <laughs> so my shield's over my head. Like It's like an umbrella. It's trying to rain down death upon the dwarf, and you just hold it over your head, and the arrow clatters to the ground. Then the goblin um jumps. Boom. Jumps where? Onto the ground. Uh, and runs in here. Jump. Jumps on the ground here and runs? Oh, no, you don't. He jumps to, well, can I? There we go. To here and runs. Ah. Oh, so he doesn't jump next to me. Goes around the corner. Yeah, I'm after him. Go ahead, Arthur. Uh, so it looks like Ogre's down. A couple goblins are down. You know, there's one sleeping up yep. there and right there. Uh, well, that one's dead probably, I think. Which uh, one? I don't see that one anymore. This one's dead. The sleeping this one? This one was uh, tucked around. You can't see it because it's uh, over 10 feet high. Oh, well, I can't but see anything. That's true. Well, actually, that's uh, not true. Jakad's lit up brightly. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> still. Um, can I, if I move forward a little, can I see that one standing in that back corner? Here? I don't think I can. Uh, no. Yeah. Because okay. it probably went prone on the ledge. If you could climb the ledge, or if you got really far back, maybe. 
because it's 10 feet in the air. I think, like, you're seeing the lip of sure. that little ledge. Sure. You can see the one in the back still. He um, slumped against the okay. wall. Yep. All right. I cast Firebolt on him. Okay. Poor guy. Took some fire, went to bed, and then died. <laughs> <laughs> All of I guess he at least died in his permanent. sleep. Is that good? Yep. Bloop. Four fire damage. That'll wake him up if he's not dead yet. Oh, he's dead. Oh, bummer. He already took fire damage. Oh, he took an arrow. Yeah, I shot him up oh. an arrow for Well, he already damage. took damage. Yeah, goblins aren't sturdy. That was your turn. Jakod's still living. Theodore? Uh, move there with 30 movement. Okay, you see him. He is among other... Uh, give me a nature roll. Nature. Nature. Whoa, killed it. Natural 20. You see other goblins in here, non-combatants. Many of them. Some are children, some are goblin wives... Some are older, feebler goblins. Uh, older, I say, because they don't get that old usually. And he's hiding among them. I put an arrow on him. <laughs> right in front of his children. Look away, yep. kids. That's rough, man. I don't uh, think I 13 is not a hit. Oh. So you actually lob the arrow and it lands against his armor and it actually sticks into his armor but doesn't pierce through. One of the other goblins shrieks. <gasps> you hear a baby goblin. <clears throat> Ooh. Do I hear Come the baby? I'm back here. Yeah, you hear the baby. Uh, more goblins. It looks like they're non-combatant. Go uh, ahead, Carmen. Mm, there's no more goblins out here that I see, and the ogre is done. Nope, the ogre's okay. dead. I come around here. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna, I put my hand out like peace. And I try oh. to talk to an orc. I say, we need to know what happened to the villagers. Did they come this way? Um. It looks confused. Any of you understand me? Anyone in this room? The baby cries a little louder. Ah. No matter how much I hate those beasts, I cannot kill them in front of his children. Arthur? It's some strange stuff. Can I roll an investigation on the ogre? It's dead. Oh, that's it, huh? How about if I roll an arcana on the ogre? It's dead. Dude, what are you <laughs> trying to ascertain? What do you want to know? Well, it's just kind of curious that the villages are here and there's... I don't know. I guess I don't know much about goblins. Mayhap we're in the wrong cave. Yeah. Did you see the villager tracks coming in here? Yes, we did. I did not understand what's going on. Maybe we press further on in the caves. And I move up. Okay, I you move up. Stop. Oh, wait. Jakad, is is Jakad dead dead? No. Did no, I miss no. something? <laughs> he's stable, but he's out. He's unconscious for at least an hour. Maybe we should take a brief rest to stay by our companion's side. There's more ogres out there that know where this place is. We take an hour. We should travel back and take an hour at the keep. We didn't know what happened to the villagers. Your passive intelligence tells you there's still a goblin up here who's going to wake up in about 30 seconds. And there's a well, goblin uh, over uh, here who definitely is awake and alert and hiding among the non-combatants. Art, Art, kill this goblin. Who's Art? Or not Art, sorry. Uh, Arthur. Theodore. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. Arthur. Theodore? Arthur. Arthur. Art. 
Uh, you can't climb that unless you roll an athletics. It's ten feet high. Uh, da, da, da. All right, fine. Dunk. Can I can I move over here and give him cover fire in case he wakes up and doesn't get one shot? Oh no, Arthur! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you slip. don't even get up like five inches before you start slipping down the side. I'm not very good at climbing, gentlemen. Should I go up there? Still one up here. Yeah, you go up there. I'll watch this one. Do I need to roll in athletics? Go ahead and roll in athletics. This guy hides. Athletics. 14 14 can get you up there, no problem. You see it just sleeping on the ground. Um, if you're going to coup de gras him, you do not have to roll. Okay. You I point the tip of the arrow to his neck, you pull back and release. Thump. He dies. We should scout out more. See if the villagers are here. If they're not, we should leave. If they are, we should leave with them. Hi. I come over here and get my axe. Can I just go over here and get my axe? Uh, it went into the cave somewhere. You didn't see exactly where. You have to go find it. You have to search. It went in. Uh, I'm oh, going to be no, searching you, uh, out. Sorry, area. you use your inspiration to hit it. Yeah, I, I smashed him, but if I need to go look. No, you got it. You just have to climb okay. up there and get it. Uh, see if I can athletics my way up there. I do. I climb up, I get it, I come back down. I tell you. I'll watch the spot here. Go check out the cave. Okay, I'm looking down that area. Where are you going? Over here. Because I was just up here, coup de grace the guy, slid down, and then went over here and looked. Okay. Uh, I'll let Arthur know that I'm going to go down the cave. Uh, and I'll alert him if there's any more trouble. Okay. Okay, so I'll be I'll back move. here watching over Jakot. Moved it there. Peek around the corner. Stealth bully. All right. Shit. This corner. Grand stealth bully. <laughs> So you roll a stealth for me as well. Yeah, not the most stealthy. You're going through the caves, you see... One of the larger stalagmites in the area. Besides the cluster of stalagmites over there. And it looks like it's got giant holes bored through it. Like uh, five inch holes into the stalagmite itself. Can I tell what caused it? Uh, not really sure. Looks like it might be hollow. Hmm. Weird. Move up here and look left and right. What is that? That looks like you see some light going outside. A little bit of light off in the distance. It's another way in and out of the cave. Gotcha. Also known as the edge of the map. True. Uh, I'm going to move up to there. Peek around that corner. Uh, 60 foot dark vision. I don't see more than that. Not at that angle. Well, I guess you kind of see yeah. here. There you go. Okay. Up. Hey, beans. All right. And you can see the full cavern. 
One second. Go ahead and roll your initiative. You are surprised. Oh. Hey. Oh, there was something <laughs> behind me? There was something behind me. Drop down. You. Oh, what is that? You, uh, Nasty. Turn around as you see the end of this cavern where this fresh water is pouring down, kind of like a, a little bit of a fountain. And this giant black pudding is oozing through these tunnels and these caverns behind you. And it surprises you. So wait, what's that thing? A giant black pudding. Black pudding. And it surprised you. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where it came from. It's oozing out of the walls. It can pass through holes like an inch. Oh, wait, where was the pillar that had holes oh, in it? Oh, it's behind you. The mm. pillar was back here that had holes in it. That must have been one of its black it tentacles shoots out to hit you and misses it, slaps against the wall. Ooh, you need to get out of there, man. Go ahead. Uh, is it occupying a space? What can I. It is occupying the entirety of that cavern. Oh, man. That's like a ranged character's worst nightmare. Uh, <laughs> so I'm still shifted when it ends its turn next to me. Mm -hmm. I can move. move half your speed. Ha I can move. Uh, why is it only showing the title? Title of it. Anyway, I can move uh, 10 feet as a reaction. If the creature ends its turn within five feet of me. And Would it doesn't that uh, cause an attack of opportunity? Nope. It says uh, this reaction movement doesn't provoke attack. So now is the time. Where are you going? So I'm going to move up to ten feet as a reaction. So I move up to there. Mm -hmm. It's a dead end. Yep. And I will shoot it twice or shoot it once rather okay you shoot it go roll the hit ten <laughs> puddings are easy to hit that is a hit for seven piercing damage as the arrow sinks into it and disappears and then uh this water that I'm seeing. Does that look like it's just regular water viscous at all? or It be great. looks it's like it's a water. small waterfall pouring from an 8 foot high ceiling. There is a pool at the end of the cave. You're not sure how deep it is but it does go down a little. And the hole that it's coming out of is pretty small. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to find an area where I think I can kind of kite it around so i'm i don't know what area would be best like maybe there so that if it moved into this area that i could maybe scoot around the edges trying to kite my way around it right now all you saw was it was filling up the tunnel yeah as it was oozing towards you you hear the slimy slurpy sounds of it crawling near you and nearer you move and it comes in <laughs> <laughs> <That's a> <laughs> and we can't hear any of this going on, mm -hmm. right? Like you don't Alex hear. And I get to make new characters. No <laughs> kidding. And it rolls to hit, and it misses. Amazingly, it keeps missing you. You should just walk past it, through it. <laughs> just take the hit, take the hit. Let's just yeah, trudge through the mud. <laughs> Is there an opening over here or anything now, or no? No, it fills up the entirety of the cavern almost. Okay, well, it did... It's a big, it puddly ooze. Is there a place where I could stand over here that's not 
going to submerge me in water? Um, you do not want okay, underwater I mean, combat. <laughs> this is things you it's do not like want a, underwater. It's not combat. like a a pool where there's a shallow end and a deep end. It looks like it's a cut into the land, into the uh, ground, and it you can hmm. see that it goes down a little bit. In fact, you can actually see a couple bones laying in the pool when you look into it. Okay, oh, no. not going there. Don't do it's it. The, it was uh, his toilet. <laughs> That's his toilet. <laughs> 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 he so you said there was his bathroom and he's mad about it it's still taking up the entirety of the thing yeah i mean it takes uh, up four squares technically but it's oozing around the corners and the edges it's slowly expanding I was... so i was wondering if the 10 feet of movement i could move to like right here yeah you can move over it well is it it's moving over it not moving around it Oh, I see. Because you don't want to end your turn in it. I mean, you could end your turn in it, but it'll... Um... Well, it just tried to move, and I get 10 feet of movement, and then I get another 40 feet. You so can I'm move trying to the side. To... You probably can't use your 10 to land in it as a reaction. Okay, so, so if I land right there, it. then? You can move there. I, I'm able to... You... you can't get around it, is what he's saying. No, I was I'm saying that with like... your reaction, you couldn't. Because the reaction gives you 10 feet of movement. But now, yeah, if fine. you want to try to hurdle the ooze. Yeah, that's what I want to do is try to hurdle the ooze. I get 40 feet of movement, so. It will get an attack of opportunity. The, the cave wall. Uh, I was hoping to use my action to uh, disengage. But then you're going to move through it. Yes. Yeah, you'd have I mean, to hurdle it? I don't know. the other side of it. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work like you think it's going to work. So, you Disengaging can... Disengaging is like actively backing up while you're yeah, looking at it. You can something. jump over it, maybe. Or you can wade through it, maybe. You haven't been hit by this, jump. but as it moves and oozes, it feels like it might be sticky or something because it sounds squishy and sticky and gross. I'm hoping to jump over it. And attacks. I don't know if that would be... It will okay. provoke an attack of opportunity. What Even if... Rules? I was going to say, is jump an action? Because I haven't used an action yet. Rules. Well, I don't know how, like, by me hurtling, is it going to make it so that I can't disengage? Um, so I'm when you make a long out. jump, when you make a long jump, you cover a number of feet up to your strength score if you move at least 10 feet on foot immediately before the jump. When you make a standing long jump, you can leap only half that distance. How strong are you? Uh, my strength is just a 10. So you, so you can jump, jump five, five feet. feet. You're going to have to wade through this thing, probably. Either way, each foot you clear around the jump costs. Of... Yeah, so you can only move five feet if you can't run 10 feet. And I don't think you can run 10 feet. Well, I ran 10 feet. As a reaction. As my reaction. Yeah. That won't do it. So... So could I run doing, back 10 feet, doing, run forward 10 feet, and then take the jump? 10, I don't know. No, The rules are weird. 10. No, because you're, you're cornered on the dead end. You're in a bad way. You're in a really bad position. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how to hurdle it, and I don't know if I can. You can't. Do you want me to okay, so over? what do I roll to try to do something similar to that? Uh, you're going to either have to fight it or wade through it. You could call for help. Or call for help. You could scream like a woman. Or jump in the water. <laughs> don't don't <laughs> yeah, go in the toilet. Right? There are things you don't can do. I'm telling you, you can't jump it. You're not strong enough. And it's not like flat on the ground either. It's kind of bubbling and rising. Its tendrils are sp spindling upwards and outwards like, like the picture a little. Is that a black pudding? Yeah. It's a black pudding. My God, we're only level two. Yeah, I think I have to wade through it. Okay. So, what uh, do I roll or do? Roll. Or... You wade. Through you should it. be guard. You, just... you should be guard. So I will ten. roll. What happens to you? Be guard when we get 20, back. Take 30, automatic damage 40? and go through. Ten twenty. We'll see what happens when I Difficult get there. Change. I guess. We'll, we'll see what happens if you get there. 
Yo, it's bad. Oh, what? You <laughs> do your best to step through and out of the pudding. Uh, it plungers uh, your butt with a <laughs> <sweet pie. laughs> It comes out your mouth, man. <laughs> but you don't. As you take a step into the pudding, it feels hot, really hot. And for a second, you think it's even cold. And then you realize the acid the is eating your flesh away as you go through. You're having a lot of trouble continuing on as you look down. And now not just your flesh is falling off, but so is your armor. So is the things you're wearing. Your boots are gone. You can feel the bones clinking against the ground because there's no more flesh holding up your feet. You don't have oh, more than 21 man. hit points, right? Uh, actually, I had 24 because of my transformation. Oh, my God. You're still alive. I thought you were dead. Yep. Me I got too. three hit points. Run, dude. You're, you can't run. You don't have any feet. Your armor is reduced <laughs> by two if it was giving you any armor at all. Uh, it was giving me, uh, let's see, 14 for its base, so it would be 12 now. 12. And because you have the temporary hit points, you still have some flesh. It's just fair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what goes around comes around, motherfuckers. You can still move. <laughs> that was just your uh, movement action. <laughs> Keep going, dude. Run. You feel like yeah. the flesh is falling off your legs. You're now. Okay, so um, that was 20. Was that difficult 30, terrain? 40. What, what was that? Yeah, that was difficult was that? terrain, so. What was that movie we saw where uh, the one guy grabbed the skin off like fried Black chicken? Hawk Down. Yeah. yeah. Black Hawk, that's what this reminds yeah. me of. Yeah. 20, 30. Just pulls the skin right off his legs. 40. We had barbecue chicken that night. And I <laughs> you look over eat. at the uh, stalagmite that, that has holes in it. Yeah, 5, 10, 15, 20. Well, you were in difficult terrain going through the use. I think you can. Oh, okay. 5, 10, right. 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. You can get here. to right here with 40 movement. Oh, that's pretty far. Right here? Wait, right wait. here. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, 10, and then I double 20, moved. 25, 30, 35, 40. 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. You can go right here. Yep. Yep. He has 40 movement, guys. He's fast. Okay. You see him come around the corner. He looks really. How bad. do you move that fast with no muscles on your feet? I gave I gave him his muscles back because I thought he was dead. Oh. Yeah, he thought he was going to be the I thought, finishing. I was blow like, me. you did that great, delicious sounding <laughs> description, and then you're like, oh no, he can run full speed, and you so. run like the wind <laughs> on your stumpy bone nubs. Yeah, and then I'll I'll you yell out like black pudding. <laughs> yeah, I'll yell out black pudding run. Black pudding run. Black cock down, <laughs> black pudding run. <laughs> I mean, this this cave is a horrible place. I feel like there's no way the villagers came here and are. <laughs> can we just yeah, I it? think at this point we can call it and be like, "Yep, nope, they they didn't make it. Sorry, <laughs> try our best." Lucky for you, after all of this is said and done, you're gonna level. That's a good news. I mean, that's because we powered through extra <laughs> super hard. You sure did. No resting in between. There ain't no rest for the wicked. <laughs> there ain't might no be now. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's say that we can end on this note. That was amazing. Pudding run! I for sure That's thought you were dead. Bad. I thought you were dead. <laughs> yep. Me too. I was like... Dude, that pudding just ate him like the blob. He walked into it, and then he dissolved. <laughs> like... I thought it was kind of justice, because that's how one of the characters, when Alex was DMing, died. Oh, no kidding? Gelatinous Cubed. Mm. Oh, Gelatinous Cube is a horrible foe. Oh, that was uh, that was when Brian was doing Goblin Game. Was it? Oh, yeah, I guess that yeah. wasn't you. That was Brian. Uh, Maybe uh, that should have been you... Brian dying. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. He was unconscious. There. Yeah. Didn't, didn't Bryce get cubed? Bryce got cubed, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, bad. he did. All right. He so deserved every second. Though. Let's call it on this note. <laughs> let's do roses and thorns, guys. Okay. Alex, you want to start? 
<laughs> uh, yeah, I'll say the thorn was probably trying to figure out like what exactly. Because I was like, I think this room is big enough because it's like a three by three and it's a two by two. So I was trying to figure out a way I could get around it. But yeah, sometimes I'm like, I want to jump over it. And you're like, you're not able to jump over it. Well, can I jump over half of it? This is going to take You did half jump damage? over half can of I it. Can I disengage? <laughs> That's exactly what you did is jumped over half of it. Dude, it's like a bad pseudopod anime. So yeah, uh, black pudding is probably a thorn. Uh, the rose, I would say it's probably nice to have. I actually kind of like this dungeon thing where you have the. Uh, uh, fog the, of war? Yeah, fog of war. It's, yeah, it, board. Makes, uh, it makes me want to investigate every nook and cranny of the entire oh, cave. You just so. went Skyrim style. Like, I gotta go yeah. find everything. Yep. Is the map explored? Is it 100% complete? No. Then I must complete it. How about Brian? Let's just go on the, the guys that got it the worst. Um, well, so we had it really broke into two phases. And the the gambling of the combat versus the takeover in town was one thing. So your thorn um, or your rose? I don't know. You know, what, I'm actually going to I'm going to skip all the in town stuff because that is like a complicated but it was almost almost feels like a full game ago. So so for my rose was actually what happened over here in the left side where you guys chased the goblin away and then let him get away. My thorn is very similar where this goblin was going to run and then you retconned it and put him back. And so Josh abandoned all everything else to go kill him before he could get away. And so he knew he was actually going to get away. I said, do we know they're going to run? He said, yes. D yeah. Which is a dumb answer. Well, something I, I'm that, trying to thorn. do. There's no reason to say that, you know why he's going to run. So That's here's something point. I'm trying to do for <laughs> combat and you can take it or leave it as it's your turn. I'm trying to describe what the enemy is currently doing. So he is getting ready to swing. He is turning around to run. He is... That way you know, like, this is what I can do. Okay. I'm trying to do that for everyone's benefit. It should make your turns a little more concise to, like, say, the ogre is going to reach for Jakkad. Well, it's not his turn yet. It's three turns away. But that's what he's doing. Yeah. So then you can... Oh, well, what do I do on my turn? I'm trying to make it so you have a good... You have choices. Oh, I can heal Jakkad now, or I can wait till I see him swing that dead body onto someone else. Yeah, I decided to wait. You did decide mm -hmm. to wait. So that's something that yeah. I'm trying to do, which is going to make it a little confusing for you. I hope right. it helps, though. It, it probably does. It's more. It just becomes more of a... Like you get an insight into the game that it's hard to deal with in um, real time. Mm -hmm. But it it does it does it does make sense. But in that case, my thorn is to blow my spell on regeneration, basically, oh. and then to get one shot. Oh my god, you yeah, got one that, shot. That was rough. The true one shot, where I was like, I will continue to stay up and be explode. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am a weird puddle corpse. Yeah, man. Go ahead, Matt. Well, well, well. Um, I can't tell if it's my rose or thorn. <laughs> um, but uh, it's we've had so many encounters and so many battles. Um, and you know, with no no rest. So I I kind of like it that. Uh, you're stretching our resources thin. Definitely. So, yeah, I think it's 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 a it's it's kind of a rose and thorn for me. I, I it's just like on one hand, um, you know, it it it's fun to play it that way strategically 
and um, and it seems you know a little bit more realistic, right? On the other hand, it's my first time being a full caster, and uh, I'm not getting my resources back right away so i'm a little like ah why couldn't this been last campaign yeah right about this time we would take a eight hour rest and we'd have all our resources back right now it's gonna be right a week yeah. um so i think i guess that's that's about it that's about it Got um it. so that i mean it just uh and i would have liked to see like a little bit more story progression in this session, but that's okay. You know, that's about it. Go ahead, Josh. Um, let's see. Rose was watching Brian get his clock cleaned super hard and <laughs> watching the pudding <laughs> eat Alex's leg. That was awesome. <laughs> like, I was like, oh my god, your legs. I thought he was dead too. I really thought you were second. dead. Yep. For a second, my heart leapt with joy. <laughs> just because, <laughs> like, because it's always uh, you. Well, no, not just that, but also because, like, I feel like a lot of times we play like super long chronicles and there's not really like teeth in them, right? Like, uh, but that for a minute, I was like, wow, like, character death. That's great even though it's also horrible. Um, yeah, I don't know. So, Rose. Thorn, uh, chain encounters, man, with the new long rest rules. Uh -huh. That's going to be hard. That's uh, I'm kind of thorny about that whole thing where, like, yeah, usually we could chain a bunch of encounters, run out of them, and be like, it's okay, tomorrow we'll be all right. But I guess I feel like I'm still moving at that pace, but I'm going to have to get used to the, how the rest rules pan out. Yeah, part of the problem is, is like, if we were doing chain encounters with goblins, it'd be fine. We had an right. ogre, we had a black pudding. Yeah, It's just, it's not going to work out for us to do that kind of stuff on a daily basis. Yeah, we're going to have to slow down or something. <laughs> not too much slow down, but we take three, four days off in between. Blows that's I mean, our long rest. What happens if we go back to town and more of those? Yeah, I, I mean, that's always a chance at a long rest. I mean, if we say we're going to take a long rest at the end of the night and then Ryan starts giggling, you know you're not getting your <laughs> rest. <laughs> like, okay, yeah, I go, I go to sleep on the mimic bed. Great. <laughs> 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 All right, I'll go. Yeah. Let's see. Roses and thorns. I'm really rosy this game. I have a <laughs> lot of roses. There are so many good moments. Black pudding legs. Oh, my God. I really thought you died. I was like, wow, I haven't killed someone like this in a long time, but I have no hard feelings about it. I don't feel bad about it. You guys came to the caves without taking a short rest, which I understand is a choice. And you had a couple hard fights, and you all split the party. Let me go scout while these guys stay here. It's like, man, he's just going to die right there. But you didn't, amazingly, because of your temporary hit points. I would have uh -huh. died. You would, anyone else would have died, 100%. Maybe not Jakarta like, if he still had a... those temporary hit points. It's like, I got a plus five to stealth. If I see anything, I'll just come right back. <laughs> the pudding was like, eh, but... Yeah, and then the pudding was like, and then I sneak in behind you. <laughs> I love that he lives inside the hollow stalagmite. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. So that's my rose. Yeah. Um, not I was fighting even like, the what's... ogre. Another rose slash thorn. Like, you guys let it go right past you, which is cool, because it gave you options, right? You know there's ogres coming up. <laughs> but that was your level three. Oh, we would have leveled after that ogre. We would have leveled after yeah. that ogre. And you didn't fight him. No. <laughs> so then you came here, and I'm like, well, okay, here we go. Let's see what can happen. Level two, no resources, and a level three encounter. 
it was close. You guys did a good job. And I think you're a little tougher than normal people because, well, the normal characters at this level, because you all have an extra feat. Yeah. It helps a little, I guess. So yours really helps you at low levels. Yeah, mine is a really good first level pick. Second level. I haven't had actually, I haven't had anyone hit me by rolling an attack against me yet. Not yet. The only thing I've taken damage from was waiting through a black point. <laughs> it almost killed you. Yep. I got crit the fuck up early on, but yeah. So that's another rose. Like you are determining the pace that you want to go at. Technically, you probably should have taken a short rest in there somewhere. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. shit might get bad, but I told you at the beginning of this campaign, you're going to have to make hard choices. I mean, also, like, there's goblin tracks following the people to the caves. Like, we couldn't just be like, sorry, people, we're going to sleep for a day. Like, you could. It's a hard yeah. choice. And most of, most of the stuff, though, we don't get back on a short rest. We get back on a long rest. You get health I can back. back my channel divinity on a short rest, and I can get, you we can roll hit dice. Health yeah, is a good both. resource. <laughs> but only one or two of us were actually hurt. I was at full hit points. I think Arthur was at full hit points. Yep. No, I was at seven. I when was you at entered? Three quarter hit points. Yeah, you Me guys were hurt. were hurt. So that's another Me rose. But I have to say, my actual rose moment of the entire game was when Carmen, Josh's character, held up his symbol. And was like, by Morden's power, and the <laughs> enemies are like, oh my god, we need to run. And you thought you were so like, awesome. Yeah. Like, I'm bad. Oh, it's a dragon. <laughs> yeah. Good. And then you're like, oh, that's why they were scared. You thought you were just the, the king of the hill right there. <laughs> yeah, dude, I was like, I'm the man. <laughs> you're more than it's about. Right? And then you realize that, oh, there's something else much scarier than just me. And I think you yeah. guys would have had that fight pretty fine. In the end. Mm -hmm. It was looking a little iffy here and there, but you ran through your resources. And then literally after you used all your resources, you said, let's go to the caves filled with goblins. Oh, and now there's ogres too, but let's still go. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm like super good, so I can't be like, you can't. sorry, people. You, you did know. it. I didn't. I guess I could, but I don't. I feel like I'd have to rethink my character a little bit. So, well, it's just it's it's tricky because it it kind of feels like it, you know it's part of the module, and it's like it, it's tough to it's tough to not go on stuff, right? Like you know, we were we were there to you know for one purpose but then we saw destruction all over the place so and you know like I totally agree with josh like how do you not go to the caves and try to you know well you say i pray to morden they'll be alive tomorrow but i need to <laughs> gain back some of my resources <laughs> well <laughs> they'll be alive tomorrow good luck guys <laughs> oh, short dude. rest short rest would only do hit points for me right for you now. Mm -hmm. But it would have still helped a lot, I think. And if you had fought the ogre, you'd also been level three. So it was a definitely interesting twist and in all that. Hmm. But yeah, you're still I mean, alive, technically. We'll see how next session yeah. goes. Um. So you, so we can level up before the game. Um. But do you still want us to level up during long rest? No, that's a future rule. For this module, I told you you level up after certain things. Um, this is that thing. So there's usually times when you're supposed to level up. And in the early levels, you go real quick. It's just like one, two, three. You are leveling up now, which gives you some extra resources, some extra hit points. Like So for example, Matt, your character will get another spell slot. You can't. Got, oh, and you learn I spells. Got, but you I can't prepare any slots. until you take a short rest. And I'm doing the short rest right. preparation after you level up. That's not every time. You can't normally prepare spells on a short rest. But say you gain a spell slot, you can prepare a new spell that you gain. Um, Wizards, I think, can prepare equal to your level plus your modifier. So you have one more you can prepare. 
Right. After a short rest. I also get a spell slot. I believe I'm going to eat that one, literally. The good berry? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I mean, if you need healing. <laughs> oh, yeah, I suppose it's a, it's a long rest that would recover that spell slot. So I guess it would be better off just taking a short rest. Yeah. And honestly, looking at the module, I've read through most of it. This is probably the most heavily packed encounter, encounter, encounter that you can have. And even in the module, people take long rest, which would be a day. Like you're supposed mm -hmm. to have taken at least eight hours. Uh -huh. But you guys didn't. <laughs> nope. You just wanted to go for it. So keep that That's in mind. That's why I raised the drawbridge. I was like, oh yeah, we'll probably take a day. And then then, and then you mentioned the tracks. I'm like, oh shit, I wish I didn't know about the people. Yeah, that the moment goblins. was like the goblin tracks. I was like, oh no. Yeah, because as soon as I told the good guys, hey... <laughs> There's people and goblins following them. Should have kept we your were, mouth we were, shut, we black pudding food. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that was fun. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I thought someone, mm -hmm. I thought two people might die. Oh, yeah. Especially when you knew Jakad's body was being used as a projectile and you still chose not to heal him. If he rolled a one, he dies. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it, it was, Five percent chance. Uh, yeah, it was interesting when, when yeah, you looked down and were like, mm, "Pass." <laughs> was, was like, well, I I just did it, and then yeah, could have been at any time. I rolled before he did it. Did you succeed or not? I did. Okay. I'm taking sky right. <laughs> Skywriting? Oh what a great God. spell. Don't take Skywriting so bad. <laughs> At least we'll have that. I It'll be like my sky. ladder. Please help. <laughs> I also think It'll you like guys have name. a little bit of um, extra oomph with our chat inspiration. So you have a lot of extra chances, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. which is kind of nice. You definitely needed it. It was a lot <laughs> of craziness. Speaking of chat, let's go over all of our followers before we sign off for the night. Uh, thanks, everyone, for being here. Thanks for watching them almost TPK. I really thought it might happen. I was like, man, we just started this. Huh? Like, I couldn't let you TPK right away, right? You'd probably be goblin food soon, soon too. <laughs> oh, all right, followers, we've got... Don't know where I left off. We go over Kojo, Jeeve, IPA. I think we gave you a shout out. We got ST Kenyon, Spork Saber, Shepherd, Bi Evolutionary Proxies. Thank you for your follows, guys. We got Lavortex, Tokiwan Kenobi, No Name, Wreck the Mango, Gen Chaos, and Shy Flames. We appreciate everyone being here. If you want to come join join us on Discord, we have a Discord channel. The link's below, or you can do a exclamation point Discord. I'll throw that in chat. You can um, use this music that we use in the background. That's all on our YouTube channel, sorted into playlists by theme. So if you want to use that for your own games, feel free. There's no advertisements. I leveled all the volumes myself, so they're all the same volume in the background, so it doesn't, like go really highs and really lows. I don't use any brass or uh, organs, things like that, that are obnoxious. <laughs> and we'll be here next Sunday, 7.30 Central, to follow up on the Dripping Caves and see if these guys make it out alive. Although, it's not looking promising. It's not looking promising. I got eight more hit points, man. You do have eight <laughs> more hit points whenever you wake up. Yeah, when I wake up, in another 55 minutes, <laughs> I got this. Let's hope oh that uh, the pig suckling ogre doesn't come back in the meantime. Yeah, we maybe <laughs> should leave. Yeah, we're going to probably end up taking one end of you and the other end and just hauling you out. Yep. Put you on the back <laughs> of the horse. Say, go be free. <laughs> <laughs> you put me on the back of a horse and slap its ass. Slap its ass. <laughs> go forth. <laughs> May fortune guide you. 
But yeah, thank you everyone. We will see you next Sunday and follow up on the story. <laughs>